Hello, chat. How you doing? <clears throat> yeah, you know what's coming today. Controversy, I believe, right? Greatest political battle of our age. But how is everyone? I'm in a relaxed mood today, fully medicated. Uh, zooted out the zoo. <laughs> I can, by the way. Uh, thank you for the 64 months, by the way, Galahad. Dear, if you take me to Wendy's one more time for our anniversary, I'm going to put lax. I am more of a, uh, uh, what's the, what's, shit, uh, more of a cheesecake factory kind of date. I got at least a little, a little bit of class in me. At least give me that. I've actually never been to a cheesecake factory in my life. I just know the meme, all right? <laughs> Time for more Dardigan narration. I like that you think in my stream that I'm like narrating something like it's a script. <laughs> it's like, yes, the great, the great Dardigan Mike. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that, but uh, yo, thank you. I, I apparently just will ever, always and forever sound like I'm narrating. <laughs> you know what? It's still, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing to be known for. Time for Tifa's bikini. Screw that. I'm here for Hojo's Speedos. Everyone's like, oh, Tifa and her bikini. No, Hojo. Ojo's got a scene, I know he does, because he did in the original game. Dude was just like on the beach chilling in a speedo, that's what I'm here for. But we gotta get there first, we're still technically on the boat. Hey Nikita Khrushchev. Hmm, well I don't have a shoe to smack into a UN table, but you may call me that. As memed on by Cheesecake Factory is, I actually really like them. Uh, do they actually serve cheesecake there? <laughs> You are not an AI from yesterday. Yeah, I am I am the AI from four days ago. I have several a your Dardigan has several four AIs that he deploys at different opportunities and for different games. He's a very advanced machine learning researcher. Uh, millions of dollars have gone into this project. Literally millions. Google is involved. You're probably gonna be buying us out soon. Hojo Speedos, you don't know that Hojo was on the beach like macking with girls in the original game? I'm not joking, he was. He was like sitting there chilling on the beach with Instagram models around him. Would you rather hang out Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden for a week and play Resident Evil 5 for 24 hours? Honestly, Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden aren't that far from the zombies in Resident Evil 5 in terms of person. <laughs> I don't know if I noticed the difference. What's poppin'? You are, my man. You are. But uh, I've had a... You know, Pretty good day. Had to pull out my old CRT TV that I haven't had in forever. Hook that up. I swear I'll be watching the bikini for research. You know what? I don't, I believe you. I believe you. However, that better be an iPad or something in your hand where you're taking notes and you know. And well, I'm not sure where I'm going with that, but your hands better be doing something you know eventful, and uh and scientific. Here's a musical analogy, uh, would you say the OG of this game is a moody, dark grunge track and this remake is like an 80s hair metal band coked out of their heads and doing guitar solos for an hour on end? I think that's a little wordy, to be honest with you. And the more words you add, the more difficult it is to imagine it. Definitely the original game was darker and grungier, but it was also had its own lighthearted and goofiness to it. It wasn't all just like grim dark shit. I feel this game is pretty close to the original, except for like the poorer areas of it, like the slums. They didn't really make those feel grungy enough, I feel. Or oppressed enough. Played the original back in the day when it was very polygonal. But Hojo Speedos and HD graphics? Yuck, no, no, no. That man is like peak scientific body. You don't know you want it, but until you see it. Considering how Google AI just gone a wee bit problematic due to its machine learning, if you were a Google AI, I suspect this stream would be banned. Well, Google owns YouTube, right? So, why would they be banning me if I was like one of their own products? So, I don't know, I think you got your reasoning a little backwards there, but it happens, it happens. They didn't have the piles of trash the OG had? Yeah, well, it's just the, the character of the people living in like the Sector 7 slums was completely different. They were very community focused, and despite being like living in a slum, they were all like super nice, social, artistic, everything else. Whereas the slums in FF7 original were just like this rundown, crime ridden hellhole ghetto. And I kind of like that feeling more because it added that extra edge of desperation that what Shinra was doing to everyone. Honestly, the slums didn't seem like that bad of a place to live in FF7 Remake. <laughs> 
You could probably like have air and bees there. Air bee there. Ugh, air bee and bees there. People work on Black Mesa are not work working there no more. Well, yeah, they finished the project. <laughs> no, they they they're definitely were like be uh, hired up by other developers. Uh, where is the class warfare? Well, that, that's class war. They they talk about it, but they don't show enough of it. I actually found your channel when a crackhead inmate on his tablet, yes, they get tablets in prison, was watching your channel. That is amazing. <laughs> That's the most, I have to give it to you. That is, I have heard a lot of people tell me how they found my channel, usually just because YouTube recommended them. I have never once had someone tell me that a crackhead got them into watching my channel. What video was he watching? <laughs> do, you, do you remember? Also, wh were you, what were you in for? <laughs> What were you in prison for? Just thought you should know that it's me. Courage is solid from Twitch. Here I go by handle Nightbreaker. How have you been? Well, first and foremost, thank you for checking in on YouTube. Second, I will not be able to remember who is who because there's so many people who watch me on both now. And some of them go by different names. It's hard enough to remember it, just all the people on Twitch and their names. So I'm just going to have to consider you a brand new person. <laughs> But I've been good, you know. I've got I've been getting a lot of work done. I got my first full Patreon video complete, basically. So I'll be ready with that when the Patreon launches. I'm gonna try to have a second one ready, actually, if possible. I also like dug out, dug my closet out today, my storage closet out. Pulled out my old CRT TV to hook that up to something. Got to test a piece of equipment out soon. And other than that, did a little bit of your writing and stuff. Gemini is such a shit AI, to be honest. Censoring is horrible. Uh, I haven't really played with it. But I know that an another AI just released today called Claude from some other developer. Uh, some other one that's that's apparently very good. Uh, from what I was hearing about it. Uh, you're a CO in the Kingdom Hearts video. Uh, you're a CO. Okay, okay. You were just there to, like, crack heads. I, I kid, by the way. And it was a Kingdom Hearts... You know what? That's kind of funny that the crackhead was watching the Kingdom Hearts video. You know what? I hope he made it out and like became a better person. Do you miss Game Care Network? I've only ever interacted with Game Care Network once or twice. Last time I interacted with him, I raided him on Twitch to... Because he stream. I think he streams on Twitch now as well, intermittently. So I sent some viewers his way and we like chatted for a bit. Uh, but uh, we've never really, you know, like interacted much beyond like that really i think it was like years before i you know, like i think it's only two times i've ever interacted with him both very briefly and i don't so i don't i can't really miss the guy i mean he's still around i'm not sure why i'd even miss him if i if i knew him personally <laughs> i'm pretty sure he still uploads uh the, uh i don't you care but apparently wendy's is looking into surge pricing i heard that was a rumor and i don't eat at wendy's anyway so i don't care they're gross your mom told me some correctional officers got arrested for taking money and sexual favors in prison for smuggling in cell phones. Yeah, that kind of stuff happens. Getting champion yesterday was worth it, huh? Well, we'll see. Missed yesterday's stream. Sad I missed the live parade. Well, the last hour of it was entirely nothing but card games. You probably don't know who I was from Twitch. I probably don't. <laughs> Look, if you have a completely different name, how am I supposed to guess? Not going to lie, but I'm looking forward to watching you play OG Resident Evil 2 and 3 someday. I mean, hey, we'll see. Those would make pretty good classic sin videos, you know. Which beach wear am I wearing? We're not at the beach yet, we're still on the boat. We finished up the card game last night, so whatever happens next will be the, you know, the next big thing on the boat. <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts is going to trip the crackhead. You know, Kingdom Hearts is the kind of game... You, I, I don't know, I feel that's dangerous to play while, while high, because... You're already in like a weird mental state. <clears throat> right now, I'm about to start the parade section of the game. The whole Junon region is a real sight. It is nice seeing like these old things that I'm from my memory. Now they've been reimagined. Hmm. You're three streams behind. Keep streaming to both. I am. Uh, well, thank you. I'm uh, hopefully uh, you're enjoying the streams. Uh, I'm still getting used to YouTube streaming. It's weird because you have so many options. I keep forgetting to turn on the live chat replay so people who watch the VODs can see the chat, the YouTube chat. <laughs> I remember to do it today, but I believe today I forgot to turn on the low latency mode so it's on normal latency. So there might be a slightly longer delay 
between uh, the two streams, but not by much, I'd imagine. You think they improved upon the towns in the original? Uh, I do, actually, yeah. Mainly because the towns in the original game were often just one to two screens. Did I like FF8? I like the first half of FF8. The second half of FF8, FF8, not so much. And there's elements of FF8 I don't like, like the junction system. Uh, question is, are you going to play OG Resident Evil 1? Uh, OG Resident Evil 1? I have no idea. I'm not really fond of the OG Resident Evil 1, to be honest with you. But maybe one day, I don't know. I'd rather just play like the remake that came out on GameCube. That one I still have to play some more of because I've only played through Jill's uh, playthrough of it, so I need to get Chris's recorded. Is FF10 the best ending? I will say that the FF10's ending is one of the best in Final Fantasy because that's the only one that really got an emotional reaction out of me. I do remember getting like, oh man, that's sad when I, when I got it back in like the day. Uh, yeah, that's, that's right, chat. Even I can you know, get emotional and like get worked up over something. But I do remember specifically, like, damn, man, it's affecting me. Are you halfway through the game? I don't know. I would imagine the gold saucer would probably count as the halfway point in the game, but I'm not quite there yet. Congrats on appearing in a Starfield analysis by Private Sessions. I have no idea who that is, but I hope you like me. I don't know why he... Why, why, why was I in it? Was he just, like, talking about what I said in the video or something? But I, I'll, I'll take the honor. Any other YouTubers out there want to mention me? Be my guest. Negatively or positively. I'll, I'll accept it. Gold saucer is like 35%. Apparently, no matter how far I get in this game, I'm never halfway. That's what I'm learning from chat. It's like you're not even 25% of the way through, despite being on hour 60. Chapters are 14. I'm beginning to notice a trend that a lot of JRPGs go to 14 chapters recently. <laughs> Can't wait for them to release this game on PC performance mode on this game. I'd imagine when they release it on PC is when they'll release the DLC for it as well. I, at least I imagine there'll be a DLC for this one like there was the first one. Wait, imagine all the card games and the gold saucer. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> kind of forgot. No, it's not your favorite song, but you always seem a bit surprised when people say they like FF8, but it actually does pretty well in every fan poll. I, I, I don't think FF8 is bad. I just have games, FF Final Fantasy games, I prefer more than it. And like I said, the first half of the game I really enjoy. Uh, once you kind of like get the garden flying though, it kind of starts to go downhill for me. And it loses the track of the plot. You're here for the corn. Hmm, the corn. Well, I hate to tell you, this ain't that kind of game. But there's plenty of those on Steam these days. However... If you've never seen a girl in a bikini for bikini before, it might seem like porn to you. He's pulling multiple reviews who were disheveled by Starfield, and he included your little segment about being encumbered over and all. People seem to really like that moment. Like, damn, I really lit into that one, didn't I? FF8 had the hurdle of following up. It's true, it was following a tough act. I did have a bit of a bit more for that original Starfield script that I cut out. I had another line that I really liked, but it was already like running too long. Would you like to hear it, chat? Like right after I would have the, the line about being encumbered over and over again, I was going to say, Dead Weight isn't just a gameplay mechanic. The game itself feels like a, what was it, a mismatched collection of Skyrim mods. Uh, I probably should have left that in, honestly. Because it does really, I, I do feel Starfield just feels like, you know what, this is like someone just like scattershot grabbed a bunch of Starfield mods, I mean a bunch of Skyrim mods and put them together. So nothing really feels like it, you know, works together. Why didn't you leave that in? Because it was already very long. And it, it, sometimes you gotta kill your babies, so I can, I can possibly use that at another point in another game. Because I will probably, considering how well the Starfield video did, I will likely end up sending some other Bethesda RPGs. So, I can save it for then. It'll work for any one of them, actually. But hey, that's the kind of content you'll be getting on the Patreon, by the way. You'll get to see sins I didn't include. Along with all the exclusive content like your Game Shins and DLC Shins. Classic Shins. 
There are people who are willing to watch 20 plus hour vids. I have only 20 plus hour vids I've ever seen on YouTube are usually just like music, music that gets like re repeat put on repeat for over and over. How would anyone make a 20 plus hour vid? I, I don't. I mean, that, what could you possibly talk about for that long? Are you filibustering Congress with it? Hello, chat. How are you guys doing? We're all super gay tonight, but we like it. Beach episode? We're going to the beach. Cosa de Sol. Look up Patrician TV. I mean, hey, if he actually somehow does 20-hour videos and people watch it, more power to him. I wouldn't watch a 20-hour video. It's like an argument to get me to watch like an hour-long video. It has to be something I could listen to like a podcast. Uh, you only have the original Elder Scrolls, Morrowind, and Daggerfall? Uh, no, 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 no. I have Oblivion... Skyrim, no, well, Oblivion, Ob Oblivion, Shivering Isles, the expansion to Oblivion, Skyrim, and then I can also do Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. So that's quite a few Bethesda games I could send. Ocean Cloud and Sephiroth are the real love triangle in this game. No, I'm pretty sure Roach belongs to his motorcycle. Actually, who do you think is the dom in that relationship between Roach and his motorcycle? I never thought of that before. You would think it'd be Roach since he rides the motorcycle. But honestly, I have my doubts. I think he might be, you know, the, the motorcycle might be top when it comes to the bedroom. Once watched a six hour video about Kimba the White Lion by accident while doing something else. I'm assuming it was being compared to, uh, you know, the Disney movie of a different name. You ever do a game that involves a prison setting? I can tell you what's wrong with everything. Uh, I technically have done that, uh, that, uh, a way out game. The first chunk of that game is involved with breaking out of prison. I'm pretty sure how they depicted them breaking out of prison was incredibly unrealistic. Shouldn't Roach have joined the Navy? Possibly. Uh, that analysis video that uses clips from your Starfield Sim video is four hours long. He So he was just, you know what, hey... Longest video I've made is like an hour and 30 minutes, and I never want to have to do another video that long again, if I can possibly avoid it. I like my videos to like end at around 45 minutes, is, is like that's as long as I want them to be. I try my best to make sure they don't get longer than that. It just feels like, oh, this is like really dragging now. <laughs> really dragging. Hold on a second, me like, boom, look at that video game. Have you seen the new Avatar, the new the Avatar Netflix show? I have not. I don't really have any interest in. I I really want to point out to people we need to stop letting like live action media feel like it's the superior form of entertainment, because <laughs> it's not. They're all pretty equal. So I I usually do not have interest in something when it gets like the live action adaptation. It's like oh okay. I'm pretty sure the original is better. Yeah, I'm that contrarian. Some things are better left as animation, is all I'm going to say. Don't you agree, Chet? Sometimes, sometimes something that starts out as a, you know, an animation is better than anything you can come up with later on. Like, oh, so they now have, what, two mediocre, like, live-action adaptations of Avatar? They're going to line up for a third in another decade? What about live-action FLCL? I don't need it. I'm perfectly happy with FLCL being, you know, like a six-episode anime. And I don't need those shitty sequels that they come up with in recent years either. <laughs> Live action is so good, why didn't FMV games die? Well, technically FMV games are going through a re uh, renewal right now. You haven't paid attention to Steam? There's like a new FMV game almost every couple days, it seems. And apparently they do decently enough, I guess? Donkey's video on this was pretty funny. Well, most of Donkey's videos are pretty funny. Anime Avatar is vastly better. I watched it, and the story is deeper. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't think you're ever gonna, any live action adaptation is going to be able to you know do that justice. Uh, you know, they probably have an easier time adapting Korra to live action than they would Yo Long, so they should probably just go with that. That one feels like it's a bit like it maybe a bit better to do that way. But who knows? I might be wrong in that too. Remember when a video in this game's water. 
sucking dis on this game's water sucking despite being a PS5 game. Uh, I, like I said, the game looks good, but I will say there are some elements of the world, like the grass doesn't move when you walk through it, and I guess the water doesn't really do much with it, but I'm fine with that. It's an RPG. It's not trying to be like, it doesn't need every single little detail like that, that you appreciate the first time you see it and forget it, it's even there. Uh, but I understand the argument, but it's just not that big of a deal. There's already enough in the game that I don't really need, like, minuscule little things like that. FMV games tend to be for ARGs these days? Really? Hmm. Are you a beach guy? Uh, I like a beach. I've not been to one in a while. Well, I was one, you know, back in LA back in December, but a little too cold to really do anything more than dip your toes in the water. FM but, uh, Okami was supposed to be with realistic character models. I'm glad it w went with what it's like Japanese ink style that it chose to go with, because that looked phenomenal and still looks good today. Okami, even though it's like, what, 15 years old now, is still a good looking game even now. It's sort of like how Wind Waker is still a great looking game because it went with like a timeless cell shaded look. <sighs> uh, the problem with this game is Unreal Engine 4 jank. It's not an engine that lends itself very well to open world environments. Uh, yeah, I've heard that as well, actually. And it's actually not even using, like, the most updated version of Unreal Engine 4. It's using, like, an older version of it that they've modified. I'm assuming that once all three games are complete, they'll have to, like, they'll probably, like, make a comp compilation of all three games in one that are all tied together, and they might upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 for that, but they probably just need to develop all four on the same, all three on the same engine until it's complete before they can upgrade. That way they can make that easier on themselves. Korra sucked, only the two-parter about the original Avatar 1 was good. Uh, I think the first and last season, though, were pretty good. Well, actually, no, really only season two really blew. <laughs> it, actually, yeah, no, season one and was flawed, but all right. Season three was great. Season four of it was, you know what, pretty solid. Your call, what's better, Resident Evil 4, uh, 5, or Resident Evil 4 Remake? Resident Evil, I will go with Resident Evil 4 OG. I like Resident Evil 4 Remake, but I, there's something about the, the campiness of Resident Evil 4 original that I just prefer. It's like the evil dead of video games. Don't worry, the Pacific Ocean is always cold, even when it's summer. It's always cold, even when it's summer and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Same video pointed out that Nier Automata was able to do the environment interaction much better, and it came out eight years ago. I mean, I'm not sure what their argument, though, is. Not every game is going to have the same feature set. One... Uh, I, I mean, if, that, if that's... I mean, hey, I, I nitpick over little minor details, too. They can do it as well. Uh, I And I will definitely, like, make fun of a game every once in a while for, like, hey, I'm walking through this grass, but the grass ain't moving. But I'd really, after, like, initial noticing it, don't really care. Just want my opinion. I mean, eh... It's pretty minor. If that's the biggest complaint you come up with a game that a character's hair doesn't get wet. I mean, if you really want to compare it, you could compare it to FF15, which did have characters' hairs getting wet. In fact, you could get hair gel in that game to keep your hair spiky and model perfect at all times so it wouldn't get damp. So it's not like Square Enix doesn't know how to do that as well in even like Final Fantasy. It's just that one, maybe the engine was already struggling with everything else. Uh, but yeah. Uh, how you doing again, Chef? How you doing, Nix? How you doing? Or season one is so annoying because the heroes never seriously address the actual problems that non-vendors have. True, I did realize that as well. <laughs> they just kind of like, you know what? We all get along now. It's like they presented an interesting like story option for like what it'd be like to live in the world of you know Avatar, but be a non-vendor and how you'd be a second-class citizen almost. But then they didn't do anything with it. I wonder why they didn't use their house and luminous engine because it's apparently a shit engine. It's really hard to work with. That's why they've only ever made two games with it. It's it's just that one studio was the only one who would use it, and no one else wants to touch it. It's just apparently a nightmare to work with. So I wouldn't be surprised going forward they just like scrap it or only use it for like small projects. All right, so let me pull. Okay, I almost for, did I send my Discord out? I don't know if I did. Yeah, let me do this real quick. Hold up, hold up.
One second. There we go. Alright, I've now done my Discord announcement. I can now focus on playing a video game. Stupid question, how many game engines are there, or is there just an real- I- alright, for now on, I institute a policy. If you want to ask a stupid question, it must be accompanied by a clown nose honk. You know, just like honk honk. I don't know how you're gonna do it, but I'll give you a function. Maybe like a sound effect. I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of engines. There's the main engines everyone uses, which are like usually Unreal 5, Unity, uh, whatever. There, yeah, and then there's a bunch of in-house engines like Decima Engine for Sony and a few others that are actually Sony's. Sony actually, their studios have a lot of you know, internal engines. Uh, then you have engines like, say, what Bethesda uses for their Elder Scrolls and Fallout games, the Creation Engine. Uh, it, there, there's in many, many. Plus there's older engines on top of that that don't get used anymore. Engines solely for like, you know, mobile development. Mm. There's like the Cry Engine, which is like the European Unreal Engine. Hey chat, rip Twitch, rip Twitch, chat, Twitch chat, Lucky has turned against you, she's like, rip Twitch. Also, uh, Soli Jimbo, thank you for the 32 months. Uh, good times, hope everyone is well. You know, I'm having a good day. There are dozens of game engines, I'd say there's probably a lot more than dozens. Alright, so chat, if you remember last night we won the card tournament, and everyone in the team was like, pooped because playing cards... Where's you out? out there. So we gotta go to sleep. And then we'll see what happens after that. I still... I, I hope he, like, continues wearing his Chester Cheeto outfit for the rest of the game. I swear he's gonna throw me, like, a bag of hot fries soon. He better... Hold up. How does he have... Wait, he doesn't have fingers, so how does his gloves actually... Maybe... Maybe he just... Maybe they don't. <laughs> Hard to tell how that works. Somehow he's filling out the fingers in the suit. Oh, it's so cursed looking. <laughs> Alright, sleep time. Nothing bad will happen during the night. Do, do. Need to catch up on last night's VOD? Well, that's the good thing. They're all there for you. On two different locations right now. You understand the arm strength of uh, your car? Yeah, those cards are made of lead, man. Can we get like a recreation of Titanic with Cloud and Aerith? Military, huh? Guess that's us. Not gonna wake up Barrett? Oh, we got spook music. Spook. Draw me like one of your soldier girls, please. <laughs> you would have loved Red 13's introduction as a card. Oh yeah, yeah. When you get to this point in the game, Lucky, you're gonna love Red 13's moment. Head up to the deck. These stairs will get you there. You okay? Uh, but will there be enough room on the door for two people? What, you the realize there's more than two people right here. We gotta somehow fit Barrett on the door. Oh, you mean Red Jackson? Oh, yeah, of course. Run, run, run! Burgling from everywhere! I know, sweetie. Just get inside. The captain's waiting for you on the deck. Help me! What's going on? Are we getting 
These are some very wide hallways for a, you know, a boat, I just want to point out. This is like free way, you know, like a free, you could drive like a couple lanes of cars through this hallway. Oh, there you are. Over here, quickly. Over here. The whole ship is crawling with thieves. They're everywhere. Please, you have to help. Copy. We're on it. Good. I'll round up the stragglers, but there's a lot of ground to cover. You. Give me a hand. Chad, if you become like a sailor captain, are you required to wear Thank mutton chops? Thanks. Follow me. Come on. Yeah, play the good fucking. Oh, it's, I swore. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. That was not a. Yo, I caught myself at the very tail end. It doesn't count. This is a cargo. No, I think they turned it into a cargo, into an actual, like, your, well, party ship. This is, this is like a resort. I got it covered here. Yeah, you, you clearly do. Protecting the bar, man. They're never getting the alcohol. <laughs> Nothing on sale. Oh, there you are, Lucky. You're in Twitch chat, too. I see. Attacks on their of their own, exploiting their elemental weakness while punching their weak to lightning. And hitting here with a giant sword. Alright, we'll scan you two. Gotta get these scans in, you know. Best do it right. Uh let's see. Uh spirits. Uh okay, they have no weaknesses. After a countdown, they will use deafening screech. They cannot be pressured, so the best strategy is to whittle down their numbers for the attack in mass. I realize Red 13 is dead. Oh, hey, it's not, okay, that shit. Not good. Not good. Okay, that really took me by surprise. They do the whole, like, you know, Dragon Ball thing where they hug you and then explode. 
They also stun you so they could just like come up and grab you. Here I thought I was kicking ass and then like, oh no, you're dead. I gotta scan these again, I think. Laugh at Yamaha. Yamaha. Okay, that fucking lightning. And killed itself. Look at my me, my one HP. Because when I watch Game Sins, I always thought Dart was a cynical bastard. That is not all the case. Yeah, I know it does surprise a lot of people that I'm actually. I don't know. Would you would is describing myself as chill? Does that seem accurate to all of you who are like new to watching like live me? Uh, I I feel like I'm a pretty chill and emotionally like y'all, you know, well put together person. I'm actually not that cynical. I'm actually easy to please. The only thing I really care about is the game not wasting my time. If a game can manage that, I can usually be pretty positive on it. But that doesn't mean I can't find things to talk about negatively about it. I'm just a professional. Good job, Cloud. You hit the wall. I describe you as rational, yeah, rational, like emotionally intelligent. That's something Patrick Bateman would say. Well, he would say it in his head while he's also talking. Oh my god, that's sort of off white colory. Font choice, that kind of stuff. Oh no, the poor people. Oh, you actually care? Oh. Do you have a first strike material on? I think I have it on Tifa. So I don't think I have it on. I, I don't think I. No, I don't have it on Cloud. I got that on Tifa. Clud has quite a bit of like magic material. He's like healing, spirit up, fire and ice, assess materia, luck materia, precision defense, elemental materia, and lightning and wind materia that's attached to the elemental thing. I 
should possibly move one of these around. I should pr probably put like the elemental. Yeah, let me do this real quick. Okay, where's the sort? I should probably put the elemental one right here so I can have um, elemental attacks on my fire ability. So let's do that. So... Remove the materia. Spear it up. So let's put spear it up here. Put fire and ice material. Or is it lightning pollution? What was it? Okay, so I will move lightning up here to this. Here. Right, so move that. healing back on. Good. Put the first strike material in cloud. I'm good. All it is is give you like a start the battle with like an extra ATB. I don't really want to like get into like reorganizing all my material right now. Yeah, I gotta scan these assholes again. She survived. How's it look? Since you have a higher level scan, you can scan multiple that doing again. Oh yeah, that's right. Where's T Top? Don't know. He said something about getting more firepower, then took off. Firepower? Bees and E's are classy cocktails. You having yourself a drink right now? No, you're too tired. <laughs> too tired to drink? Okay, this is new stuff that these guys can transform. Allow me. All right, uh, necrotic entity. Mutated beings that somehow fuse with the people in black robes. Protected by a tough exoskeleton, myriad appendages, they stalk toward their prey, slashing as they go. Being with powerful offensive abilities while they are casting a spell will pressure them, evading onslaught or attacking them during Sebastial Fury will also pressure them. Hmm.
thing turned into a Resident Evil enemy. It's on you. I got this. Oh, that's annoying. aren't being targeted at random. Hmm. You got a dead space fly from them? We couldn't cut their limbs off. You'd think you could with Clown's sword, though. Hmm. This is all new material, by the way. Even though there was a fight on this boat, it was just one single fight. Oh. There he be. And? The fiends have merged with some of the passengers tattooed men in black robes mm -hmm. I Wesker's the like I mean Hojo's like the Wesker of Final Fantasy mm -hmm. <laughs> he's just like a hammy <laughs> maniacal villain an intriguing development this new mutation Mm. And one resulting from fusion, no less. The superior genetics producing a far stronger being. This is almost as hot as Aerith fucking a dog. <laughs> that I can never I got to see. Your opportunity to be present for this epochal event. At the very least, I must harvest a sample of its DNA. So, what should we do? You said the F word. One or two won't really hurt me. Ensure the experiment proceeds uninterrupted. And in they really return, did a good, a good job on making his face just look disgusting. However, do mark your body to aid in identification. <laughs> what if I'd be chilling with the babes? They're, they have to have that in. There's no way. Just realized this may be foreshadowing for the possible fight you have with Hojo in the final disc. I was thinking that same thing, because he just like randomly kind of does that, has this moment in the final game. How are we looking health wise? Rip would be chilling, but yeah, he has to be on the beach. I mean, he's on the ship. Why not? What's up, Ludson? How you doing tonight, by the way? About it. I feel bad for him now. Okay, one of those is just like an enemy from the deep ground place. Yeah, this thing was the, the this one was like from the deep ground place in the previous game. Future beings, uh, there's reason that model. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Yeah. 
The look FF7 is the most bizarre enemy designs. It kind of does. I mean, we still haven't even seen the the you know, the the Triceratops tank in the game yet, which is should be appearing at some point. Like I recall people like wondering how they're gonna fit the Triceratops tank into the game. <laughs> but I like its wacky ass enemy design. Make some more ethers soon. I just got I picked up gloves for Tiva. Oh, good. thanks for noticing for me. Alright, Kaiser Knuckle. Uh overpower. Use with other attacks from to more effectively pressure enemies can be used while airborne. Follow up with a bonus tank after using the weapon ability. Triceracops, wasn't that a real cartoon? <laughs> hmm. How many of those like rogue guys are they even let on the boat? like writing critical so what did you determine was the root cause of starfield's toxicity toxicity uh you talking about like toxicity with like the people playing it or like the game itself i feel like the starfield's problems were built up over decades of other bethesda releases actually more than anything else and them never having to like change their uh their development style because no one would actually hold them to account for their bad decision making and letting in always releasing shitty unfinished games and eventually it led to Starfield. You put 250 hours into it so we all you're asking oh that is a lot of hours. Mm, he just meant but uh, yeah. yeah that's my that's my theory though. But there's this faults are built up over many releases not just one. Into mega potion. Hojo is kind of base when you think about it. What makes him base? What did he do that you like? What did he do that you respect? How many times do I have to see that happening? One of their four elastic limbs boasts an iron mace. Okay, we've seen the enemy type before. is so freaking fun to play in the game. 
Like, bo actually, both her and Yuffie might be the had the best combat style in the game. It's like sword, you know, Cloud got big sword, but uh, there's something about playing what amounts to like a fighting game character in an RPG. All right. Uh, Ojo just chooses to be evil and like Sephiroth who went crazy. He woke up one day and said, how can I ruin someone's day and does it? I mean, that is some truth to that. I don't think he's ever done a single good thing in his life. Even like the other version of himself that he made to be like young and hot is evil. Is Tifa just Cammy. Yeah, there is maybe, but except the old and you know, doesn't have the English accent. But Cammy's probably a good uh based on her moveset, Cammy might be the closest, you know. Red 13 fights like Simba from Kingdom Hearts and honestly expected a bit more. I was kind of actually expecting exactly that. There's only so much you can do in like an RPG setting like this with like an animal. Like a four-legged one fighting with its teeth and claws. Hoji's a great villain. He cares only for his own self-interest. Well, he cares about evil science, which is a you know its own wing of science. He's one of those like it's the next stage of human evolution kind of new villains. I feel. Dude is still, you know, at me as fuck. Yep, 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 yep. I did disagree. I did not disagree. He's got evil Riz. True. Oh, that's a large group of them over there, Barrett. You pulled a lot of them. Wait, is he protecting them? I saw one of those. Those rogue men have been merging with the fiends, becoming monstrosities bent on killing us all. But no more. Not on my ship. Hey, take it easy! Don't shoot! I'm not one of them, I swear! Why was she here? He thought we got rid of her? No. He's going to be here for the rest of the game. What are you talking about? Sorry, this is very loud right now. Alright, Genova Emergent. Alright, Genova the motherfucker. Sorry, I have to cuss for it. This one's different, way different than the previous one. 
Yeah. Uh, top secret Shinra experimental specimen, a fragment of its carcass is fused with a robe of individuals, granting it a twisted form. It's able to induce hallucinations that warp the very space around it. Collecting enough damage or pressure at each point, certain portions of its body will become vulnerable to attack. Storing these discrete parts will significantly fill the stagger gauge. Does Sephiroth practice monologuing to himself? I think you're onto something, actually. Sephiroth would crumble at a Yo Mama joke. I don't think he would react well to it, you're right. Alright. OG song, but updated. Yeah, they'll probably have a new one for every Genova fight. I'm just wondering if this one's gonna have, like, the, the second part of the fight where it changes to the, you know, like the previous one did. Imagine seeing this and be like, Tifa, like, I want to go up and punch it. Just watch me punch it, yo. to cure her right before it squished her. Hey, and it worked, it worked, she's alive. Oh. Yeah, I'm back to swearing a lot, apparently. Have a mega potion cloud. Keep yourself alive.
doing very well. Seems like another enemy to me. I don't know. I like skulls on monsters, apparently. And when they have a bunch of meaty hands on it, even more so. either actually Sorry. Uh, let me bring Cloud back to life and I'll summon <laughs> I can like heal with okay never mind <laughs> people go and get you know heal cloud up with this actually mega potion Sephiroth is over here like telling Cloud not to subscribe to people's only fans. <laughs> also, Super Cramp, or Super Tramp. Five dollars Super Chat, GG. Thank you, my man. Good evening, everyone. This is your captain speaking. I'm happy to announce that the earlier disturbance has been resolved. All wants Cloud to subscribe to his OnlyFans. You know he has one. We will be arriving as scheduled at Costa del Sol in the morning. On behalf of the entire Shimra 8 crew, we wish you a Have a peaceful night's night sleep, sleep after you were all traumatized by horrible monsters attacking you at night. Sun. At sea, no less. You would subscribe to Sephiroth's OnlyFans? I didn't see a sample first. Here we go, chat. <laughs> Beach time. I'm actually not even sure what we're going to be doing here because this part of the game in the original was so short. You really just walk through it. It's like you're there and then you're gone. You never have to go back. It's it's like a blink in your... It's kind of over scene. You know what, suddenly I'm back in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Sign means the swinger had a pineapple on it. We just arrived and I already ate it. Come on, let's get out of here. Should probably wait for them. 
Why don't you just guys just like grab one of these guys and take him with you, let him in so you can follow him around. Right. So a little sightseeing couldn't hurt, could it? I mean, come on, we're in Costa del Sol, people. Costa del Sol. Perhaps we could find some shade first. I'm about to melt. Could save you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang loose! <laughs> Hang loose! Hang loose! Hang loose! Greetings and welcome to Costa del Sol! I'm Capono, the mayor! What happened to Infinite Wealth? I haven't finished it yet. Here you are. Perfect. A gift to get welcome. you in the mood. Welcome, thanks. After all, there's nothing like a good welcome. lay to kickstart your getaway. <laughs> That color really brings out your eyes. A shimmering sea. Missed the first owl, but I managed to catch up on two minutes by skimming through certain parts of it. Oh. That is a nice thing about YouTube streams. You can skim through it, the stuff you've missed, unlike Twitch. Because here the fun lasts all the way to sunrise. Welcome to Wonderland, my fair ladies. One for you. You see that? Yeah, but let's find a hotel and shower first. Then we can go. Eva could always use a shower, from what I recall of Remake. You better not be suggesting we all hit the beach. Hey, hey, I saw that. Don't go thinking I didn't. You two said it with your eyes. It's very good against the beach. She just said, yeah, but if you remember in Remake, after every fight, she'd be like, I could really use a shower. Summon into the Alexander. Oh, we're gonna be doing that stuff here too, huh? Let me see the map. You know, I didn't think Costa del Sol would have like a region where I had to explore around it, but maybe it does. You hate the beach. Somewhere on this beach, Kazuma Kiryu is running his orphanage, huh? I think it's pretty obvious Tifa probably sweats a lot. Well, they're all everyone here in this party. You have your findings and be sweating a lot. But uh, it's just a, it's just a line of hers. It's just kind of funny because you always. You know what? I'm gonna have to mention how like all these same guys decided to land on the same yo know, outfit for their journey. It's like let's all wear ripped up robes. It would have made more sense if like they all were like dressed slightly different. Because they were just regular people who got, like, infected with it. Or experimented on. He hasn't finished it well. Yeah, I'm about halfway through it, I think. But who knows. Sorry, video games, but... Segways are just not gonna be a thing. What is it with like two games in a row now? Two big RPGs out of Japan feature the Segway. Hang loose! Our copter is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Don't ruin the storyline. Yes, please do not. Like I said, I am interested in what's gonna happen here because, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, you really don't do anything in Costa de Sol except transition through it in the original game. It's like you, it's it's really short. So they, they must have expanded on this quite a bit. But hey, soundtrack's still nice. Change of the party, by the way. Yeah. 
Never understood the charm of a Segway, literally just a slower lamer. There's no way to ride one without looking just out of touch. It's kind of the, the death knell of a certain technology. It's like the picture of the someone wearing a Segway, I mean, riding a Segway with their Apple Vision Pro on their head. And you'll just also, there's just certain th technologies. It's like very impressive what it does, but you'll never want to use it because it isolates you from the rest of society to such a degree that everyone around you will hate you. Hell, for a while, using Bluetooth headsets while you were talking on your phone did that to you. That might be one of the few technologies I managed to serve, you know, get past it <laughs> by sheer, like, everyone trying to force it. I, I remember I'd get, I, I'd get irrationally angry if uh, I was walking at a store and someone would be talking to themselves and I thought they were talking to me. And I, like, turn and look and that's all, they're just having a Bluetooth headset. <laughs> I eventually got over it, but I remember, like, several times I just, like, I almost carried it up at someone's, just like, fucking use a foot up to your ear. But eventually I, I got past this, this emotional barrier. Segway was from early 2000s. I believe it's like 2000, 2001 or so. Run wild. Pirate Rampage. Surf and shunt. There should be a surfing minigame in this, but I don't think there is. You get irrationally angry at mopeds, especially now that electric bikes are a thing. Uh, I don't, know. I don't really have an issue with that for some reason. Not a lot of options you got here for self. I will buy some ethers though. Or ether. Maybe ether is like making it sound real terrible. <laughs> Replace the ones I, I used up. Those are nice, but they're too expensive. Here in LA, people are like deer running into cars with those things. I was in LA, back when I was in LA, I saw like there was electric, like rentable scooters in the in, right in the middle of the street where someone left one once. Just like hopped off it, left in the middle of the road. Hmm. Seven out of ten middle-aged black men use those Bluetooth earbuds. Well, a lot of people use them these days. Where's my next drop-off spot? Two pizzas down on the beach. Copy that. Many who were in Judon for the inauguration decided to extend their vacation here. They used to have to go there like every week, man. I fucking hate LA. I could direct you to a recently opened establishment, but between you and me, you should steer clear of that place and its new owner. Hang loose! Want to know what Costa del Sol has to offer? Then we've got you covered! You'll find a bevy of fantastic shops lining Main Street. If you plan to spend the day shopping, I'd recommend getting a wheelie. They're fun and convenient. Our beach is host to a number of fun activities. Surf, scuba, and even choco boat. Choco boat? But chilling with a cocktail is also a great option. And you keep the swimsuits. I don't know, but I'm assuming when the game comes to PC, you'll be able to play through the entire game in a swimsuit if you so desire. At through the mods. While we have plenty of options, you can't go wrong with either the Royal Coast or Costa del Sol Resort. Unfortunately, according to my records, every hotel is booked solid today. Unless there's a cancellation, it'll be hard to find a room. That's what you call a head cloud. Passengers with reservations at Costa del Sol Resort, please step right this way. Chad Lee, can, can you at least get a tan while you're here? Shake it, shake it. Goosey, goosey. Welcome to Costa del Sol. Have you tried this dance before? I didn't think myself a dancer. But I'm starting to see the appeal. Perhaps you might like to cut a rug with me sometime? Okay, gravity materia, HP absorption materia, ATB boost materia, that's good. 
Auto weapon ability allows an ally to automatically use weapon abilities when not actively controlled during battle. Okay, that's really good. We'll be, uh... What does he got? Alexander here? Yeah, Alexander. Even Infinite Wealth made a joke about the segways exploding. Do they actually commonly explode? I, wish you I remember when Segway came out, one of my teachers was hyping the hell out of Segway. They thought it was going to be like the future of like city travel. Like entire cities would be built around having a Segway. I, 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 th I believed him because he seemed like a smart guy. But I didn't even know what a Segway was. Don't do it, Cloud. It ain't worth it. 100, 200 bits for musical. What's up, folks? I totally spilled and rolled on all my bike last night. Good thing I took today off because I cannot pedal a bike right now or walk. Yeah, I mean, did you... Hope you're all right. It sucks. I haven't... I actually haven't ridden a bicycle in a while, but uh, I do remember, like, nearly breaking my arm once on one. Fell right off and onto my elbow. Oh, no. <laughs> The preppy kids. So far, I've not found a single person who wants to play cards with me. Do they not know I am like the king of cards after that tournament? Did that once, uh, you fell in your head? You know, like for me, I, I, I actually still vividly remember how I nearly broke my arm on it. Uh, I turned, my friend yelled something from behind and I turned to look and I just, I guess I turned the, the bar the wrong direction. I just spilled off the bike and onto the pavement elbow first. I couldn't bend my right arm for like a solid two weeks. It was just impossible. Hold on, can we get on one of these? This one's like unused down here. We can. Wheelies offer an easy way to explore the sights of Costa de Sur. Press R2 to accelerate, press L2 to reverse, and then the check in with the tourist information center. Receive rewards based on your total distance traveled. Oh, it uses this. Oh, that you, you can feel the, uses the pressure and the switch of the, of the R2 button as well. I You've never looked more this, lame, Cloud. In a similar vein, have I ever told you the story when I got hit by a Jeep Wrangler? If you have, I've forgotten it. Oh, well, I'll buy your cards. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, this is where some card battles are taking place later. They're all set up. Bacteria pops. <clears throat> well, they, they actually did make Cosa de Sol really big. Now, where have I been to so far? Okay, and that's the hotel area. Uh, I've been all the way over here. So, main scenario. We'll go this way. Has a lot of Kuba vibes. Kuba. Oh, sorry. I was getting more Hawaii from it. While we are planning something truly amazing, the event won't start for some time. Excuse me, miss. Sorry to be involved. I can't. It's a time sale. Keep things brief. I got hit by a crosswalk and rendered up. Ended up with a fat lip, road rash, and the entire left side of my body, a broken arm, and muscle spasms. Ew. Damn, they just like a number on you. Usually in college circuits, so I'm never too far from a CSU or a community college. Huh? We're getting so much chat lore tonight.
Oh, Yuffie's already, like, in bikini. Hey, Cloud. Want some ice cream to cool down? Or are you looking for something hot? Just admit it. You're obviously captivated by my bodacious beach bod. Nope. Nope. <sighs> nope. He says, not interested. But that whole shtick doesn't make you cool. But if you were to hire yours truly as your counselor of cool, I could show you how it's done. Safe chat. We're safe. We're avoiding the Yuffie date at all costs. We have to. So that means like putting, shutting her down every time she looks for compliments. Sorry, but I, I ain't going that route. I ain't going that route. Hmm. <clears throat> Avoid the grooming allegations. <laughs> Cloud's trying to save the world. He doesn't need to be like canceled on your uh, Shinra Twitter. No, no, I actually don't mind Yuvi. She actually is one of the better combat. I'm just changing your beach wear. She actually, her combat style is extremely good. And I actually like what they're doing with their character. I just like, yeah. It is just weird. Rides away quickly. Hey, pretty boy! Ever thought about owning a piece of real estate in paradise? Well, today's your day. <laughs> I've got a hotel for 10% the market price. Owner must be out of his mind trying to sell the place, but you know how rich folks are. What do you say? In a hot spot like this, you'll this make is a your time share, isn't it? No time. <clears throat> You going for all the suits? I have no idea what that you how you can get multiple suits. I'm just exploring Costa de Sol right now. I'm very sorry, but we're still getting set up. Please, come back later. I would rampage. I'm kind of disappointed the rest of my team doesn't also ride on one of these when I get on one. Like they do with the chocobos. Whoops. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It, it's fine. It's irreplaceable. Stay here. Shit. One turn. No better cure for the munchies than some fresh tropical fruit. We sincerely look forward to seeing you again. Wait, no, get back on. Tifa! Cloud! Oh no. <laughs> Tifa! No way. Johnny? <sighs> Hey guys, looking good. <laughs> Same to you. So, what are you doing here? Living the dream, building my legend, being the owner of a bona fide hotel, though not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence! We were just looking for a place to stay. Do you have any rooms? Do I have rooms? I got rooms for days. Enough rooms to make your head spin. <laughs> That's what happens when you have no guests. <laughs> After Peter Parker stopped being Spider-Man, be he decided shy. to open up a hotel business, and this is the result. Back, right? It's the least I can do. All right, let's get you settled in. Now? Of course, come on! <laughs> Roach Motel. I'm hoping more of like a haunted hotel. Can't have my guests getting lost. I didn't get to check out this building though. Just bought the place, so I'm still doing repairs here and there. 
But all things considered, it's looking pretty sweet. How I got my hands on it, though. <laughs> Where did you get the story. money, Johnny? I Weren't you broke? The unholy Trinity. No job, no money, and worst of all, no girl. I was a nobody with nothing, walking garbage. But Mayor Capono believed in me. Said I was destined to make something of myself. So he sold me a hotel for cheap. How cheap, you ask? Half market price cheap. The dude even loaned me the money for it. There's no kinder man in all the world. I'm thinking he got ripped off. Uh, well, let me leave. All right, we must follow Johnny. Oh, this is not a promising entrance to your, your, your... Oh, yeah, just, like, shimmy through the crates to my, my, my hotel. Back out. Back out while he's not looking. Oh. You know, it's, it's rustic. Looks a little drafty, though. But if you want that old-fashioned feel, it ain't too bad. Hey, guys! <laughs> Behold my pride and joy, Johnny's Seaside Inn. Wow, it's, uh, I don't know. Great. I know, right? Maybe my eyes are failing me, but I don't see no seaside. It's not about the sights, but the smells. Ah, how that fresh salt air tickles the nose. Well, come on in. If you have to build up Johnny's... I was thinking the same thing, that we're going to fix this up for him. I can't think of anything else we'd be doing in Coast City Assault. But also can't think why we would stop to do that for him. Okay, let's get everyone checked in. 100 bits. Tifa, this guy does hair gel tutorials on TikTok. Aerith, you're in 102. Oh, that's, that's his natural. So he just like cuts it and it falls in that direction. In the price? I'd never even think of charging you. Besides, uh, I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. Make yourselves at home. Not like there's anyone else here anyway. We get a continental oh, breakfast. You guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Oh. Fate is so cruel, depriving me of Tifa and beachwear. Time for that shower? Yeah. You think I this think has so. running water? See you guys soon. How soon is soon? Soon enough. No need to stick to a schedule here. Right? Right. You win. Think I'll go take a walk. No. I should maybe get changed first. He just really loves this, doesn't he? Well, back in a bit. That's gonna be warmer, though. All right. Uh, party selection lot. Well ventilated, plenty of shade, a lovely hotel. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not surprised. Red Thirteen actually fills out home here, given where he's from. All right, I'm not gonna acti activate the main quest yet. I'm gonna look around town. You don't see how sailor uniforms leave your weapon in the room first. Oh. Well, the locks work.
Oh, well. Hey, I guess it's an outdoor shower. Sort of. Hold down the fort till I get back. Where do they pee? Outdoors, so you right off the railing. This is probably the most relaxed Cloud's back has ever been, not have to carry that thing around on him. Why you gotta be like that shower? Why you gotta be like, uh, I guess the showers don't work very well. Stand-up guy like you staying at a dump like this for? I can show you somewhere way better. Place is a sty, right? Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's drowning in debt to keep it open. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know. Hmm. This is feeling Place more and more like your who's up. Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil. And yet the owner's drowning in debt that takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know. Come on, Cloud. Summon your best Ichiban energy. Okay, Johnny could at the very least move the boxes out of the alleyway. If he wanted to drum up a bit more business and put his sign out front right here by this. not a party it's a pity but you don't have to be lonely any longer we're bringing people together solo sun tanners like you for the special event one we guarantee will spice up your social life find love at costa del amor so Chad, this place is dangerous i'll pass Scam after scam after scam. Sorry, ladies, I'm into goth men. Can you do us a solid? Those roped people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill You fall in for this? So if you could get them out of here. There's like a mess of Yakuza minigame in the ramps. Well, wait till we get to like your you know, gold chakra. What was it mean? They gave me like a gift card. Despite what the robed individual's presence suggests, beachwear is required to access the waterfront. I like how they said, don't just ignore that plot point of the robed guys on the beach. They don't need to. Participate in Costa del Armor events to earn companion cards and exchange them for a more beach appropriate ensemble and hit the sand. They're nasty about the robed dudes. I mean, they are a little creepy, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, we did see them turn into monsters on the ship. Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? You'll need to participate in Costa del Amor. You've just got to beat the event's games with a partner. Come again. Go earn yourself some clop cards. <laughs> Star pendant. Uh, yeah, I'll buy one of those. 
So I guess you cannot buy swimwear with actual money here. They were they you have to use their your know, weirdo currency. Our items go great with beachwear, you know. Think of me not as a shop owner, but a material master. Mm. Barrier materia, yes, please. Empowerment allows you to use physical and magic attacks, strengthening spells. All right, bra okay, bravery and faith. I don't hate it, but I can see how someone. Mm, interesting to watch someone play too. <laughs> The only game I've come across so far was the pirate game. But I'm assuming this is just the shopping district. Step right up. We've got the best selection. Oh, I see you're a customer of discerning taste. Uh, I'm warned Helen. Tell said to have once been in daily use of multi the ancients. Increase its spirit by 10%. He's only got one in stock. I probably should buy that. Boardwalk folks have style, but if it's substance you want, quality you crave, my shop is tops. I'm really sorry, but your ticket doesn't cover this attraction. Maybe another time? I was told there was many games to play. I have yet to come across any. There's going to be like a race on one of these things, right? Taking them in on a state-of-the-art wheelie. If you're interested, we're doing a special promotion. Do you not see what you me? Say? What I'm rolling Just around on? One these babies and ride around town at your leisure. That's it. No strings attached. You can even win fabulous prizes depending on how far you travel. Do I think this will come to Xbox and PC? I don't think it'll come to Xbox, but PC, Dome? yeah. Like e remake came to PC. Uh, okay. These. If you go 4,000 meters, you get a pedometer. And a headband is the better one, though, I feel. <laughs> Who knows? Dissipate in the wheelie event, yes. Now that's what I like to hear. And just like that, you're registered and ready to get rolling. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? Congratulations! You've ridden enough to earn yourself a rookie license. The great thing about wheelies is how little Mako they use. They're super eco-friendly. So keep doing the planet a favor and enjoy your wheelie time. We got ton we got tan chocobos over there, Chad. All passengers with reservations at the Royal Coast, right this way, please. All right, no odd jobs. Never went up here before. Or actually, I did. Easy way to complete this was to end back to back. Mm. Mm. I've needed to sneeze for like the past 15 minutes, but I can't make it happen, by the way. It's been that tickle in the back of my nose, like, yeah, you got to, but I ain't letting you. The brain rejects it right now. I don't know how Rizzler one can look riding a controller. Well, I mentioned earlier, you cannot ride a Segway without ostracizing yourself from the rest of society. You cannot make friends on a Segway. That's how I'll put it.
I'm terribly sorry, but we're all booked up for the evening. We look forward to seeing you again. Where are the games I'm supposed to be playing? Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. Run into the pots for fun. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been here already. Who wants to go on a pirate's rampage? Oh, here we go. Shoot down enemies on the high seas and capture the Hey, got a ticket for this thing called Costa del Amor. Don't know what it is, but it's happening here, so. It's a special event for, uh, meeting new people but looks like you and me got paired up wait what why do you care about meeting new people for the companion cards what do we have here looks like it's right up my alley whoa hold on there you use firearms for a living don't you sorry but i can't allow you to play this game amateurs only that's our policy Oh, it is, is it? Why didn't you speak up soon? I don't see any signs either. This is false advertising. You know that? I'll do it. <sighs> Just you know, it's weird how, like, sense. into, like, games Cloud gets despite acting like he doesn't care. Or go swashbuckling in favor of sharpshooting if, as you aim to hit the fiendish targets and earn a high score. R2 to fire, aim, switch, aim, and fire controls with square. Toggle aim speed with L1 and R1. Adaptive triggers. Alright. Alright, get 10,000 for companion card. Time materia, rank 3. Okay, we gotta get that. That might be hard though. Did you miss anything important? Just woke up from a... We got off the boat. No hesitation, you hear me? Once you have them in your sight, fire away. I clean I didn't get 15,000 I came close we're in Costa del Sol yeah we're doing we're trying to get the best bikinis da, 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 da. you know hey, there you should copyright that tune well done gentlemen with 
play like that? You must have known each other for years. The shooting and the shouting was a sight to behold. <laughs> you hear that? A sight to behold. It's his job to butter us up. Oh, come on, man. Just drop the jaded act for a minute and take the compliment. I promise I won't tell. Anyhow, I'm off to enjoy the beach. Don't leave me hanging too long here. I play again to like get the the time material. This be pirates rampage. Yeah, I I, mm, I was very close to the time material. I'll take another try at it. <clears throat> play the game at half speed. Show them who's. <laughs> This is going to wear out this really expensive controller a lot quicker than it normally would. This realm is hard. Do the purple ones take score away from you? Is that what I'm getting? Literally, uh, I was so close. Retrying. <laughs> Sorry, I need the time material. It's too good to pass up. You can change the aim speed. Uh, this is already kind of like not that great of, you know,
All right, final round. All right, we got it. Just barely, just barely got it. My finger hurts. My finger hurts, chat. Uh, but we did it. Play the brigantine stage of pirates. The brigantine. No, I'm good. Up game. Hooked. Yeah. Boo. Now, now my controllers are the the pressure switch on the R2 button forever busted. We just took like 30 different games lifespans out of it. <laughs> right, next game, which is where? Beachware Exchange Booth, Card Carnival. Oh, the Card Carnival. Test drive is what I'm currently doing. I think the card carnival is it. Jack, you ready for you ready for some card games again? You're a menace, Claude. I'm having fun doing side quests. Well, when they when they give me reason to and give me a good reward. Oh, it's you again, huh? So, oh, you know what? Let's save as well. It's been a bit. It's been a bit in the last save. Let's just start a new recording. You ready to draw some blood? Want to play card carnival? It's green blood with a twist. You ready to draw some blood? Hey there, what's up? Oh, let me guess. Searching for a more partner? I am. <laughs> and now you found her. Just so you know, the rules are different for this event. Instead of the usual one-on-one -on -one format, we have to play in teams, which is why I'm glad you're here. I'm Actual 100-hour sure playthrough. At this rate I'm going, it will be that way. Lose. With you on my team, though, I doubt I'll have anything to worry about. Between the two of us, there's no one better at the game. Want to try your luck? Then step right on up! We're going to get blue balled to death. That's my plan to get all of you blue balled with getting like the best bikini possible. Unlike one-on-one -on -one format of most Queen Bloods matches, Costa del Omar allows players to compete in pairs. Us provides the cards while you provide the cunning in these puzzle design to quest your, test your QB acumen. Complete three challenges to win. All right, partner Regina has. Uh, uh, you like her hair and her vibe. I bet she doesn't say rude shit. She talks shit when we had to play her at the end of the card tournament. But that yell, that's just like yell banter. Partner Regina has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. She's just like she's like that. You're a second-rate duelist with a third-rate deck. So, what's your next move? Card puzzle. I'd never try that. I think I screwed up because I can't play any more cards. <laughs> Let me try that again. I didn't really know what it wanted me to do. <sighs> now my victory means nothing. Thanks. Shut up. <laughs> Don't get testy with me. Finish him off. Well, 
We'll see how that plays out. Keep that up and you'll do fine. We've taken your card game and made it shitty. Enjoy. First time seeing Queen. This is not the, the way the Queen plays out. This is a special version of it for this place. All right, next round. You hear me? Hmm. When you win the lane, receive a bonus of three. a surfeit of positions around it when played. Still too early to tell. Hmm. You played that on purpose? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play this one again. <laughs> Look, I ain't good at math and you messed up. I wasn't really sure what I wanted me to do there, but I'll, don't worry, we get multiple tries. Just gonna pull it together for the next one. Come on, hit him where it hurts. When you win a lane, receive a score. Yeah, this one's key. If you win a lane, you get plus three on it. So putting these two together is kind of key. Playing it pretty safe, I see. You know, that's not bad. No, I don't. Shut up. This is a stupid way of doing the card game. Put them all together. Uh, you kind of like think you want to go for like the ones that have the bonuses on them, but maybe not. Just gonna pull it together for the next one. Don't How this lady fits into this? She's the queen of cards. She's very good at it. Assuming playing this one is here is, is a given. All three at the bottom, I had such a hard time with this one. Huh. Yeah, that's really all I can do. Could have done worse, that's for sure. Huh. Didn't know you had it in you. It's a puzzle version of the game. Hurry, you want to see Milkies? My dude, you've probably already seen them in a million YouTube thumbnails. Hurry, Dartigan, de your baby want Milkies, is what I hear in chat. Chat, we must play card games. That is the only way. Finish him off. All right. this card do? When played, add both Moogle Mage and Moogle Bard to your hand. Well, we'll see how that plays out. When played, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four. Okay. Well, that's not bad. 
Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two. Okay. I want to play that one there. You know, she's not the most supportive teammate, is she? I don't have a card there. Very well. Keep that up and you'll be fine. Chicken nuggies are the best. Your chimkin nuggies. This is your brain on card game. This is your brain on like the dumber version of the game's card game. Well, my victory means nothing. Thanks. At least we can't actually lose. They should have so, just, I don't know, why not just let me play the normal card game? I understand that. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm right in assuming to play this card here. Still too early to tell. The only card I can weaken by playing it anywhere is that Cactuar. Center, you should have played that card on the center. Oh, I'm just playing the same hands now at this point. I, might have, I think I might have won. Yeah, I think I won. Yeah, that, yeah, that worked. That got me there. Congratulations! You two sure know how to win in style. Come back whenever you still playing cards. This was like Thanks to get the better marker. bikinis and swimwear. All right, fun in a while. it's worth it. I could be persuaded to go again. That's a funny way of asking for a favor. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't play matches I already know I'm gonna win. Would much rather spend that time upping my game. <sighs> Sadly, I don't meet many people who can teach me much. Though I did run into you. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see each other around sometime. Why don't they have an actual representation of a professional card game player? Oh you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Instead of hot girls. Alright. How many more minigames do we got? Is that it? There's only the two? Other than the test drive event? Which I don't think counts as part of it. New Cloud. I don't think Cloud and Barrett actually are the ones who get the swimsuits, is the thing. Sadly, I think it's mainly reserved for uh, Tifa and Aerith. I swear I'm not intentionally hitting all this crap. All you need to do is pick a wheelie to rent, ride it to your heart's content, then click. Yeah, you don't get anything from this other than just like some items. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? So I guess I'm done with like I got my two cards. So I guess we're good. How have you been enjoying your time on that wheelie? That's the look of one satisfied customer. This game is a segue. Yep. Sure to lift your spirits even more. All right, I guess I turned my cards in now. Find the love you've been dreaming of. Find all the cactuars hidden around.
Uh, it's back there where Johnny was at. Where? Like over here is where Johnny was at. These were just no. These were just shops. banana hammock. I'm pretty sure he just wears the his current like sailor out of it. Hang loose. Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? This is the place. So do I have enough cards, or is there another card I can grab somewhere? Come again. Or is there a specific location you want to grab your cards from? Like the outfit exchange. You were in front of the swimsuit shop and left? Well, they're both swimsuit shops, right? There's the beachwear exchange booth, and then there's one over there. So there's a weapon store in here. Do they have a cute one that'll go with my swimsuit? Okay, I'm looking for something I can use to Hey, how you doing? Have a look around. It'd be funny to see me in a segue for like five minutes maybe. Uh okay. That's pretty good. I'll buy one of these. We'll go to the one down in front. We're stuck with every little thing you welcome. You won't find a finer selection of items in Costa del Sol. Molotov cocktail. Word of advice. Steer clear of that. You're looking for quality goods, that is. Monster burger with All right, we'll save. Ames, I need to shop. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. Uh, okay. This is clouds, so what do you feel like, chat? Ocean chocobo or wild surf? Wild surf. You guys don't want the, the nice shirt? You just want the, the, the twink abs. I know what you all want. <laughs> Slip into your beachwear at one of the changing booths, set up a convenient locations around town, just at the entrance of the beach or near Johnny's Seaside Inn. Have a wonderful day. Register here for the great Cat Duar paper. You have fostered a community of degenerates. Only at times, alright? Only at times. And they're, they're just wanting a guy to be comfortable at the beach, all right? That's all. There you go.
All 95 pounds of him, Chad. Alright, I guess they'll be by the other one from over here. Oh, that's the same shop. Okay, I guess I can buy both. See, I thought I had to get these to like get everyone's best outfits, but uh, yeah, it's just for Cloud. Thanks so much for shopping with us today. Enjoy the beach, all right? All right. The only thing to left to do is go to the beach. I think there's nothing else to do. Other than like ride my scooter around. I swear, there's gonna be a soccer game at some point, isn't there? Someone feed this poor child. <laughs> yeah, this this game ain't available yet. I'm really sorry, but your ticket All right, to the beach. Attraction. Maybe another time? Talk about how twinkish and bottom light cloud is. You've done it every other stream. <laughs> I've already done it enough. Looks like you're more than ready to enjoy the beach. Would you like to head on down there? Yeah, sure. Killing the vibe. Hey, what's up? They're getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Just can't help but feel sorry oh, for them, yeah. you know? Poor uh, bastards ain't done nothing to nobody. Creeps. But we treat them like monsters all the same. You're freaking everyone out. For real. Take a hike. Hey, you leave them alone! <gasps> What? Whose voice was that? Uh, well, the water won't turn off. <laughs> Johnny sure found himself a real fixer-upper. Kinda reminds me of home. Are you almost done? Aerith? Aerith, are you alright? Oh. Tell me, what color would you say this is? Going back to the old outfit, are we? None. Thing is, it used to be white. At least, it was back in Midgar. Materia is formed from the life stream itself. Orbs infused with knowledge, memories. The whispers. They took all that from mine? These memories were precious? Yes. Extremely. Weren't you headed to the beach? Some time with Tifa might lift your spirits. How 
does she keep that in her hair, by the way? Oh, it's like in her bow, what, in the knot? Wandering around alone would be ill-advised. I insist you take Tifa. Do a Tifa in here? Soak up the sun? Because I sure am. Did uh, Aerith renew its yeah. holy and its Get ability? I'm not sure, honestly. Ready. Now, she called it useless the first time she there. ever talked about it. And then we can finally hit the beach. Yeah. Let's, Let's roll. roll. Press L2 to swap between Aerith and Tifa at any time during their date. Note that who you control will not affect the story. It's at L2, right? I'm hitting L2. It doesn't let me shit. Maybe I have to be out of, like, Johnny's area first. Cut up in this scam, Eric. Why not participate in Costa Del Amor? What's that? A special event that'll make your time here unforgettable. And don't worry, your pet can join too. Well, in that case, sign me up. <laughs> Perfect. Then here's one ticket for the two of you, and one for your doggy. With those tickets of yours, you can run wild on the pet playground, ride around on wheelies. the photo contest and you can't miss the piano recital so go out there and be sure to have yourself the ball hey super hey, tramp thank you for the ten dollar of the old, the old super hey, chat a uh, big thank you man <laughs> hope you're enjoying the stream yeah let's go oh you gotta look at her to change hey, you want to lead the way it's all right they got way more mini games for these two Wonder, do they mean Costa for coast or Costa for price? You know what? Maybe it's either or. Given that this is a vacation spot, the price is probably pretty high. Oh, this is adorable now. Today's first place prize is none other than Costa del Sol's famous tropical meat. So, got do we fiber with two gig download and one gig upload, and gotta say it's pretty sweet. I mean, depends on what you got. If you got a lot to download, I imagine so. He has gone feral. <laughs> Four teams duke it out in this ferocious battle to see who is king of the jungle. Chase the ball around the field, then shoot it into your opponent's goal to win. L R2 plus L3 to dash, pressing in to sprint. L2 to jump. Square to shoot. X to lob. Okay. That's all the run. L2 jumps. Square shoot. X lob. This is this is, will be this game's blitz ball. All right. Companion card for Aerith. Feather tropical meat. And then other ones you get silver collar for rank three. Oh, this is just that, uh... 
This is Rocket League. Oh, Mish. Her ball. Oh shit, I don't have it there. But that counted as me, right? <laughs> Actually, which one am I trying to get this in? Because uh, there's like... I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not I think I'm losing because I think I'm supposed to get it into my own goal right whereas I, I'm not, I, you know what? I don't know. I thought it's we don't have anyone defending red team over here, so I'm I'm not sure. Well, I'm apparently winning now. We're second place. I guess it didn't matter where we shot the goals. You can run faster, yeah, but it's kind of hard to get. Oh, he gets the meat. Concert and Cactar Caper. Let's let's go to the concert. We'll go deal with Johnny after we get got enough cards. just this once oh or you you could be my partner would that be okay uh i i don't think i'm allowed Shinra middle manager chat oh, uh hi how can i help you didn't he live in you. sector seven should he be worried about his like entire home uh, being destroyed my, my superior's arrival has been delayed so i thought it prudent to uh survey the area that's nice you know if you're looking for a partner why don't we team up huh? 
sure do. Oh, you're a lifesaver. In that case, I'll go on ahead. Those cactuars can't hide from me. <sighs> okay, then. Just take this camera and find the four cactuars hidden around town. All right, let the capers commence. Let's seek out the four Dershall cactuars hidden around town and take photos of them to complete the event. Press to view the map showing their locations and press L1 to take a closer look. Uh, once you find a hidden cactuar, pull out your camera with up on the d-pad and snap a shot. Where am I at right now? So there's one over here somewhere. Tifa and Aerith will reward you for your middle manager dedication. <laughs> you know, they're, they're the type of people who respect hard work. Oh, you can't take this we'll under the okay. Wait, who this? Wheelie Rendezvous. All passengers. Okay, that leads off into that. Okay, I just Why is everyone so beautiful in the Final Fantasy games? You know what? Good question. Everyone is incredibly hot in this world. Should be a chocobo here. I mean, not chocobo, but a cactuar. Maybe over there. Wait, what about over here? Is it a drawing or something? Uh, have they downsized Tifa's boobs? No, she's wearing a sports bra. Can't believe we're still having this argument four years later. Come out, little cactuars. You won't see a cactuar chat. Hold on a second. No, it's fireworks. There's gotta be something around here. On the fire hydrant? Come out, little cactuars. Maybe over oh, there. I see it. Well, that is Wait, actually really what about uh, over here? All right. Interesting discussion, be sure, but probably not guys. one for Chad that's been thirsting after every this character that has appeared. I can't blame people for thirsting after characters in this game. <laughs> Everyone in this game is practically a model. Uh, but no, it's just she wears a sports bra. Sports bras compress your know, boobs. So they, it'll make anyone's breasts look smaller, but then everyone lost their mind when they saw bikini shots of Tifa. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're back again. They were never gone. It's just that's what a bikini do. No one is saying that. Oh, I'm, I'm, what are we talking about then? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, where's Johnny? Now, let me finish up this before I like worry about Johnny. I'm lost. I don't know. Boobs are a mysterious topic that make everyone weird. Okay. So, other one is by this building. Wheelie Rendezvous is now closed Coast for the day. Is 
Should be a cactar somewhere here. This is apparently like a 10% chance of finding it, or I'm assuming. <laughs> I am looking at my main map and this one. And I'm right on the spot. It's like right in here. Or maybe it's maybe it's over there. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, it's actually over there. It's looking at the wrong spot. somewhere because the thing is turned on. Oh, there it is. Found it. Wants me to aim away from it, but all right. Uh, uh, uh. You can't fool these eagle eyes. There we go. <clears throat> hey, a cactuar! Each little guy we find is one more happy memory we make together. Let's go find another. Chad, do you think they're like loading us up with all these happy people because of something sad that's going to happen later? Let it all hang loose and enjoy your time. Uh, the next one is out here on the pier somewhere. Found the two difficult ones first, so it'd be easy. Merely now. Why'd you send the first Bioshock but not the second? Because I couldn't finish the second one because the game was like broken beyond belief and it wouldn't let me play it without crashing. I tried playing Bioshock 2 on PC, but I got about halfway through the game, but eventually it got to the point where the game would no longer work. So I was going to, but that just like pissed me off. Don't you remember who is at Costa del Sol and OG? Yeah, but he's on the beach and I have to get their out their outfits first. <laughs> I've been I was talking about Hojo and his speedo earlier, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Right, uh this one's up here actually. If you have a ticket, please proceed to the lobby. Tour Costa del Sol in style with our wheelie. Oh crap, oh crap! I've never done this before! There it is. <laughs> Nothing better than not working. My petite pickled pal. 
I hate to think that these might be our last moments together. All those hours I wasted working that I could have been spending with you. Play a Bioshock 2 on console. I've played it before. Uh, but uh, like I said, I'm good for right now on games to play. I don't need to go back and play Bioshock. Besides, that developer, the de guy who made Bioshock games, has a new game possibly coming out eventually. Who knows when, though? <laughs> that Judas game. Right, let's play it for a bit. Sounds good to me. Today's Royal Coast concert will begin shortly. You want to ride some wheels? So, where to? Bioshock Remastered? No, it's called Judas. But Remastered, that's the thing, Remastered wouldn't work on my computer, and the original Bioshock 2 was the one that would play, but then eventually stopped playing. Was really looking forward to that video. I had no issues with it on my PC. They probably patched most of it. It was only like a year ago. I tried, I tried playing both PC versions, too. Like, Remastered would not work at all. And the original PC version of Bioshock 2 played for a bit, but then it started having some kind of memory leak issue at some point in the game, and I couldn't progress. It just crashed. Can't lift my family spirits if I can't lift my own. Yes, sir. Is oh, forgive me. I'm on my way. Man can't even enjoy his vacation. Don't work too hard. All right, let's do the piano recital. If you have a ticket, please why, do, why does Aerith, why do Aerith and Tifa have to work so much harder for their outfits? You notice that? Cloud had to do two games. Today's Royal Coast concert will begin shortly. I gotta get one each while trope. All right, I heard there was a piano recital in here. Hello, Tifa. There's a concert scheduled today. Or was, at least. Something came up, you see. The pianist decided to skip town. At least he was kind enough to leave behind the letter. Said he had decided to... Are women's clothes more expensive on average? Uh -huh. Yes. The heart wants what it wants, and who are we to deny it? However... Without a you don't need to do all yeah, but I want to. These fools called us down here because they thought we knew a replacement. Even between the two of us, it's not like we know everyone in every business. Mm -hmm. Oh my, these hands, these fingers. <sighs> they have the strength of a woman, isn't it? So Can you give them a massage to limber them up before I play the piano? piano before. That much is obvious. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I did take some lessons when I was a kid. I'd be nervous around this lady if she can tell that much about what you've been doing with your fingers just by looking at them. I want to hear you playing the goddamn piano. Now take all the ivories. She gave me a buff. Tifa can now perform pieces on the piano. Did, pretty sure she could originally, right? This concert has to succeed. We're counting on you. You can do this. I know you can. Don't let my massage go to waste now. I think the theme, Tifa's theme. Uh, let me, let me like, let me like say before I do this. I don't think you can like screw it up, but just in case, you never know when the game might spring something on you. Uh, she has seen many fingers in her line of work. Have you seen the recent Stellar Blade trailers? That game got me pretty curious. What about those trailers got you curious, Lone DMZ? Was it the combat, the graphics, the style of the world, the world building? Or something else? Something else. Please tell us.
Not too bad, right? Oh, uh, you pre-ordered Stellar Blade, do you? I mean, it looks like it might be a good game. Alright. Damn, man. Your rank ain't not too bad. Thank you so much for performing. Here you are. A companion card and a memento. Bloom of Phoenix down. Yeah. Now, as for what we owe you for your performance. <laughs> Allow me to speak for the lady. First, there's the on-call lady. Then, there's my finder's fee. And on top of that... <laughs> I received word from the pianist who eloped. He and his partner left for a place where nothing can come between the two of them ever again. It seems your performance didn't just save the hotel's reputation, it also saved the relationship. Dude, you did awesome. Uh, well, thank you. May the next time we meet be on the stage of the Honeybee Inn. 8 out of 10. Until then, my I'll take liberators it. of love. Do you think those kisses were visible to everyone, or just us, chat? Alright, what do we have left? Well, we got Wheelie Rendezvous. And we also got to see... Well, actually, I think we'll go see the, you know, Johnny first. We look forward to seeing you again. Get the girls in. So we don't have enough cards yet. We need one more. I think. Tiffa, you're a menace. Keep the drive. Look, we've seen her drive a truck all across Midgar Highway. While being chased. We know she can do it pretty well. I wonder what kind of guy this big wig is. Maybe he's a silver fox. Well, Tifa, Aerith, what are the two of you doing here? That's our question. And what's with the bag? Luggage for a Shinra executive. Gotta make sure it gets to his hotel safe and sound. Seriously? You're working for Shinra now? You have one card After for each girl already. Well, well let's get all of them. them. Mayor's orders. After everything he's done for me, I gotta. Don't look at me like that! I'm not some dumb sellout! We should go. Yeah, you're right. Still sad for Johnny Chat. Oh boy. Where is this guy? Well, already checked into the hotel, apparently. Then why are we here? You know, the piano sequence. Uh, is it? Well, I did that once back when I played the demo. You got to do it there as well, so I kind of had a little bit of practice on it. Tifa? Tifa? You're not from Sector 7, are you? In Midgar? Huh? Selfie 2.0? Oh, yes, you're right. If she had nunchucks. Oh, Tifa! My life, Whoa. my love, nay, my everything! You're not quoting Johnny, are you? What a disappointment. See, I was expecting someone very different. Someone metropolitan and chic. Who lights up every room she walks into. Someone is actually I disappointed no in Tifa's appearance. Um, excuse me? Stow the tood. It's fine. I, uh, I get this all the time. That's some kind of humble brag? Hey, Jenny! Don't just stand there. Go get the unreturned wheelies. Don't tell me what to do. Ugh! How come everyone here thinks they're better than me? I'm just giving you work. Screw this. 
Okay, does anyone want to take back the positive things you had to say about her? So, you're friends with her, right? Since she quit, would you mind picking up the rest of the wheelies for me? Yeah, sure. We'll do it. What? What? what, 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 what? To please everyone you meet. I know, but I still feel like I owe it to Johnny. So I figure maybe if I do this for Jenny, I'll have given him back something. Or maybe I just want peace of mind. I guess. Free labor. Maybe we get a card. Let's get those. This movies. girl is a bitch, but the mean girls were not. Hey, this girl, she just seemed like she was like, you know what, picking on Tiva for no reason there. Like, oh, you're not as metropolitan and chic as I thought. You look like a like a common poor girl. Uh, pick up Jenny's slack by retrieving the red, blue, and yellow willy scattered around Costa del Sol and returning them to their color-coordinated parking spots. Why is it I have no trouble finding these things until right now? Okay, there's one. I will take the red one back first. How is the game so far? I mean, my opinion is still pretty positive of it. I mean, right now I'm riding a Segway. Only one of the game I can think of lets you do that. Fine in the parking lot. Oh. Uh, Johnny and Lenny. Maybe, yeah, I'm guessing she's just jealous for some reason of John. Maybe she likes that he's an entrepreneur, alright? <laughs> like, he works hard. She believes in him. Now, where's the blue parking spot at? I only saw the one for the red. Punch right here. Johnny. You know what? He should give up on Tiva and go over her. Be realistic about this. She did a perfect job. But why? Is that what Johnny wants in a woman? An overachiever? Yeah, it's just jealousy talking, Chad. Couldn't stand to hear her crush talking about another woman, so she had to put her down. Never seen someone park a Segway so good before. Okay, this lady is very easy to impress. What must Johnny think of her? She, she can ride a set. <laughs> no wonder he's in love. How low does the Segway camera go? I don't know, and I'm not going to find out. I have this thing called shame. It doesn't matter. She's wearing shorts under this, so you couldn't even purr about it if you wanted to. Not if not canonically, no. God, it's just some dumb wheelies. Why does she care? Of course Johnny would fall for a girl like her. I've been going about this all wrong, haven't I? Jenny, over here. We brought all the wheelies back for you. Stop being so nice! I can't 
taken! I decided I'm going to give up on Johnny. There's no way I could ever compete. I just parked some segways, girl. Turn one one's companion for you card. and Johnny. I bet you'll have a more fun together. I think you've got the wrong idea. Johnny and I are just friends, nothing more. For real? But the way he talks about you, I figured you were. That's because he's you not know, that bright. He likes to exaggerate. True. <laughs> and of course, he also has a habit of getting carried away. I would feel a lot better if he had someone to back him up, keep him out of trouble. Oh. So you're foisting him on me. Please turn the music down a bit. I might have to do that on the settings, though. Nothing like that. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Anyway, thanks for the card. I'm glad we got all this straightened out. Plus, now I know Johnny's a free man. So, I might as well shoot my shot then. Shoot huh? that shot, girl. See ya. Though the music might just be loud because we're standing next to the band at this point in time. All right, I think we have hey, everything. Uh, yeah. I guess we can go get our reward from Test Drive, but that's it. We get all the cards. Time, everybody. <laughs> it's time, chat. Time. Promise time. Hang loose. Thanks again for taking that wheelie of ours for a test drive. Oh, did I... Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? You finished the gangster hunt? Yes. You now qualify for an expert license. I must say, you're leaving your competition in the dust. Only one more license. Bitchy remains. as she is, Johnny could have certainly long, used someone like that. Yeah, she'd like to calm him down a no bit. Time. Keep on rolling. I have like all you need to do is pick a wheelie to not need you more let's see what hmm. but hey keep rolling around right, that, that doesn't matter we got all the cards we need go get her outfit came back and already done it what done what the cactuar hunt we no we're next? actually about to like go to the beach i know just the place double check yeah nothing left to do Green light is go. Repeat, green light is go. Activate beach episode. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. Uh, trade Tiffus cards, trade Aerith's cards. Uh, Majestic Glamour, or... Shining Spirit. I know it's one chat once. It ain't that one, I'm sorry. But we can buy both. But we'll buy this one. Floral Delight. Or the Pink Mermaid. There you go. Independent florist in the uh, Pride of Seven. I like their outfits have names. You see that water pool just collusion? What? I'm not sure what you mean by that.
Uh, and there they are, chat. The greatest political battle of our age. People, I like to... Chat, it, it warms me to think that there's an entire division of people somewhere at Square Enix that are dedicated just to this woman's breasts and they are going gray early due to the stress it's causing them. Do we have to do anything else? No, we just go to the beach now. You still knocking shit over? Come on. Save your aching feet and ride a wheelie instead. And all the hotels are totally booked up. All right, you all good? You ready? I guess Red 13 doesn't get an outfit, sadly. Nice touch. I can tell you're just dying to hit the beach right about now. Ready to rock? Would be better if they Do were barefoot, is what I just read in YouTube chat. Oh, wait, I'll give away that fetish. Oh, wait, wait, the, the teenage voice is Red 13's we've been hearing? I heard him go, huh? That is an excellent description. That your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is... I didn't, I didn't realize that Red 13 is speaking with a different, with a fake voice. <laughs> Trying to sound older. Chad, do you realize that Cloud looks like the the jerk face NTR guy from every hentai manga? Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. It's just hot. In the sun. Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on sunscreen. Is that a mini game? <laughs> you might want to go first. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. <laughs> Make way, people. <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. Oh. What a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. He's not in his swimsuit. Uh, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate... A very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Now this is so much fun. Hey, what do you have on your sleeve? You Wait for us. <laughs> so what say you? Care to join me in the lab? If you girls sign up with Shinra, you'll be set for life. Wow, that's quite an offer. And as luck would have it, I'm in need of a few females. Oh, they're going to be turned into monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. You could help give birth to the world's next hero. Or worse. <laughs> that would be so cool. Before a hero strikes down his foe, he must strike them with awe at his beauty. But he is not a hero by virtue of innate greatness. Only by inspiring others does he earn the title. Hojo, do bitches, come. It's admittedly a lofty You don't really go do that, it ladies. Last time he thought about that, it was with a dog. Amazing. There you are, Professor. So glad you could make it. I trust my girls are making you feel welcome. There's nothing sexier than a man in a white coat. Say, Professor. <laughs> so you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Not consciously, then. As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. So, line them up. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
What? What the hell are you playing at? That, my friends, is for me to know, and for you to find out. Man, he, he's ruining the beach. It's harsh in the vibes. Wait, are they? Do they use like the it sound effect from the most recent movie when they showed Hojo there for a second? Yes, only a reunion could produce such results. At long last, I have specimens worthy of my attention. Sick bastard! I'll kill you. Barrett. Someone gets home to Now's not the time. Someone has to stop that. Look at us. <laughs> oh yeah, no sword. Oh. <laughs> well, that'll do. Select a pair to join. Uh... Powerful weapon chat of legend. Hard to attack the big guy while the other dude's other dude. Wow, I got really southern there for a second. <laughs> Oh no. Hmm, a promising specimen. <laughs> Splendid. Might you be interested in bringing a new hero Let to life? Go! Scientific process. 
Uh, the gastropod. Uh, robot manufacturer's advanced weaponry division. A project Professor Hojo's request to restrain targets and with tentacle like appendages. It ducks them with drones. Inflicting enough damage or landing energy, synergy skills, and synergy abilities will pressure it. For a certain amount of time, it will use missiles and drones to capture targets. After using breakneck spin, it will overheat, render it temporarily inoperative. <laughs> Silence everyone, and this is pissing me off. Where's it? Did he get air at this? Shit, I'm, I'm not doing so well. I'm just down to myself. Poison me. You can't knock him out of it. Imagine beating up a robot with a beach umbrella, by the way. Oh, look, you going to bed? Have a good night. Nice. 
nice. You missed totally. Clutch. Good night, everyone. Gary, you have a good night, too, man. Use Kage a bunch in on the dude. And gotcha. Oh, they're Moogles. Doll? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how ninjutsu works in this universe. No, kill him. Rip his throat out. The smart thing to do. This is similar how you use umbrellas in real life. Who are you beating with these? Well, interesting beach day. None of us got to go swimming. On the beach with an umbrella, it's like, yeah, that's what they're reverencing. <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Well, it's happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff it's a part of who we are whether we like it or not yeah the deepest wounds never really heal hey i can make one for you too the camera you chat nah i'm good doing Next you favors out cocktail, there isn't it it'll be at the new seventh heaven at least that's what i promised barrett and when exactly did you promise him that sometime all right mr secretive you do you. Oh, we're in the blue territory. So what happens if you get both, like, two different people who have the full, like, happy meter? Or is that even possible? Beautiful here, chat. Beautiful nature. <laughs> Because of Hojo, this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... We had no choice. Sweat it. Don't sweat it. Anyone would want to punch that smug asshole. I know I do. <laughs> Your fists and my fangs. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. 
He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes... I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that give it to it hatred. Scares me. Give it. Everybody's got someone they hate. It's normal. Is it? It doesn't feel normal. What I'm trying to Dark say urge, is, Aerith. worry about the future when it comes. You'll Whisper stole do. her memories. Yeah, that that felt a bit bullshit to me, honestly. Because at the end of the game, like, just, you're like, oh yeah, all that stuff I knew was happening. I kind of yeah, I stole my memories of it. Appreciate it. Did you show me the scene where that happened, game? No. <laughs> Shall we? I didn't talk no to Barrett yet. Don't worry about the future till it comes. <clears throat> Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her, my future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Hmm. Just you wait. Your future self, huh? It's moments like these we have to hold on to. Time will compress. I like that you even spelled it with a K. Buddy. Late to the party once again. Why do I even bother? I'm finished. No. The company can't fire me if if I fire myself first. You hear that? I quit! Hey Rufus! Take your Mako and shove it up your ass! Ah, uh, doesn't that feel good? Screw you, Shinra! Screw you! You know what I happen to a hotel that's hiring. Rico, have a good night, man. <coughs> oh. Where's the bear at? I didn't see him anywhere. Oh, he's over here. Hate to say it, but that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. Do you like romance in games? Uh, you? sometimes. To tip Video games up. have often been really awkward with it. Now I've seen everything. Head back to the hotel once you're finished. I guess we're done with the beach episode chat. Was it worth it? Was it everything you hoped for? It looks like there might be a music performance here at some point. Hey, you ready to leave? None of them got into the water even once. You can still use those outfits during the open world part. Well, it makes sense. Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. So, back to the hotel? 
Johnny's famous sea smell in. Uh, Five dollar super chat from Super Tramp. I didn't see Cisne, but maybe next time. Take care if you log off. Well, I'm not done, but I got another hour and 30 minutes left. What's up, guys? Johnny, are you but, uh, right? thank you for the super chat, man. And I, I don't know who better. Cisne... Wait, I actually do know who she is. She was in the Zack story game. I think that's... If she's in it, she's playing much later. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So, the girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinra will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am footloose and debt free, baby. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero, proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be seven star resort hotel. Please don't make me do an Animal well, Crossing minigame to something. help you get it there. You know, you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans. Ow, 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 ow. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, you okay there? Great. Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> Nothing solves a problem like blackmail. Well, he was being taken advantage of, so it's perfectly fine. Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some rogues. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Mm, Barrett is like Wouldn't Corel. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Quite a selection unlocked. Aren't you all forgetting about someone? And... Action! Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Hey, they're reusing this animation from Intergrade. Don't make me do a test like you did in the original game. Hurry up and join the party already. We're just drawing this out. Ugh. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? You can come with. So can you actually reject her and not have her in the game? I can't imagine that that's the case anymore. They say no.
Did we save? I don't think I saved. Uh, there would probably be an auto save, but... Yeah, I'm going to assume you can no longer... It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to assume that it's no longer optional. They'd have to, like, do entirely new cutscenes. This is kind of reminiscent of the quest, uh, the how you get her in the party in the original game. Have fun. I was joking. You gotta believe me. Please let me be one of the gang. If you really wanna, I won't stop you. Really? You won't? Freaking sweet. Welcome to the team, UP. <laughs> I resisted, chat. You saw. You try anything funny, anything. I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear ya. Ooh. Oh, already mm -hmm. sizing up the material, are you? <laughs> you won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuki Kisaragi. <laughs> you do everything you could. Well, it's no longer optional now. Slip into your beachwear at a changing booth and enjoy a stroll around town in some appropriately summery attire. Note that you will automatically change back to your default outfit upon leaving the area around Costa del Sol. Shinra 8 will ferry you between Costa del Sol and under Junon whenever you wish. Speak with the crew member at either port to fast travel between the two locations. Johnny will also provide a fast travel service in Costa del Sol. Speak with him or his assistant to have them escort you around town. Alright, let's check out UB's uh, materia setup. Alright, first and foremost, get something on her right here. Uh, beauty of the f reduces damage taken while not actively controlled battle, allows you to use the highest level assets materia. Slowly fills ATB guard to the start of battle. That might be pretty good since you want her attacking quickly. Uh, I'll put that on her. Alright. Uh, okay. Only got okay. I've got better weapon. Actually, this is kind of shit weapon. <laughs> I guess it's more magic, but this one's already got a learned ability on it, so we'll switch to this one. There's fewer material slots though. Oh well. Pixel, have a good night, man. Mm hmm. Right, she's got steel materia because, of course, HP up. It's a weird option. Sess. And okay, so what do we want to put on her? I got all the elemental stuff kind of already done pretty well. Uh, maybe put an item master on her, weirdly enough. Item when the item economy's effect has been triggered, an item can be used without consuming A to B. The item command will light up. Hmm. Uh, use deep protect. Fortification, use protect. I'm going to put that on her. Strengthening spells, pairing with warding materia. Yeah, I'm going to put the, these two on her. The green stuff. Because she actually already has elemental stuff baked into her actual skill set. So you don't really need to put like the materia for like elemental magic on her. Time materia. Uh, 
Uh, I should use physical and magical attack strength. Yeah, we'll go with that. Seems like a good combo. Didn't see what time it was. Are we streaming tomorrow? Uh, possibly. What is this? this is like my sixth day streaming in a row. I might do one more stream before taking a day off. Uh, but I still got like an hour and like 20 minutes left for me to stream tonight, so I'm not even done. Ice damage of precision defense fills the ATP gauge after blocking with perfect timing. Applies the Regan status effect after blocking with perfect timing. Hmm. I'm going to put her wind damage on first right now. All right, and let's create a party with her in it. Um, I guess we're good. Raid K. Well, I'm not done streaming, but if she's streaming at the time, yeah, might might as well. But like I said, I still got like a full hour and twenty minutes left, so hmm, we'll do what we can. I gotta get as much done as I can with the time I have. But I think we have side quests available now. Autocast is really good paired with healing, especially in a non country Yeah, I'm aware. Uh, I, I, I rarely use it, though. Cause you, you, you have to, like, use up two materia slots, uh, two pieces of, like, autocast materia of, like, on you and the other person to make them, like, cast a spell you want. It's kind of, like, bizarre. Right. Uh, washed. I have to, like, get into my swimsuit to go down there. Actually, no, not anymore. This is me learning to swim over here. Nothing you can swim out to. There's really not much reason to do it. They put swimming in the game, but so far there's been very good few reasons to ever do it outside of like a few dungeon areas. I want to smack the watermelon. But if there's an item at the edge of the water map, I there had to be something that would actually give you reason to like go out there to even find it. I feel. You're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you. I'm Fran, and I'm Chocobo Naomi. shirt time. Oh, not a bad Name's idea Yoda. actually. And we would like to. We could put on the other outfits job. we haven't worn yet. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So... That's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date. For inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? What? Well, ask about Hojo. What were you hoes doing Hojo. with him? As in, that Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor. That's all. Yeah, we're not going to be heading to Coral and tonight, I don't honest, think. That'll be a save for tomorrow. It couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. 
Because we can tell you like Well, it depends on how many side quests are hard to do here, I guess. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching. One look at you and we knew. That woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. We knew you would. And so... We've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like These three you. calling Cloud a bottom? I mean, he does have that kind of aura about him. Swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. Okay. Check out Brandon and Naomi's date activities. This is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We can just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. I will let me change into date clothes. Oh well. Looks like we're playing this minigame again. Are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. Avenge the fallen swashbucklers by sniping their ghastly adversaries. In this new test of skill, the more accurate your shots, the higher your score, so watch where you shoot. Ten thousand? Oof, I'm not doing so hot. Great job. Wow. Nice one. Why are they in the swimmer? It wouldn't let me change once I activate the mission. Give me a break. The cactars are really hard to hit. Yeah, I can't change side uh, gear, like costumes while I'm in the middle of a side quest chat. Gotta wait. Uh, you know, I'm good. Alright, not bad. Though, I'm pretty sure I've got better aim. Now here's a woman who knows how to hunt for a man I like. I'm better with a sword. She never once took her eyes off her man. Who was your least favorite Final Fantasy game that you ever played? 13. Thanks, Don't even have to think about it. Anyone, in fact, most of my chat could have answered that question for you. Well known how much I dislike that one. 
Getting flashbacks to the shooting gallery of Resident Evil 4, 100 percenting That was an absolute pain. I can imagine that's what shooting galleries are made to feel like, though. I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Oh, lighten up. We're have trying to enjoy ourselves. It's trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Well, for the record, I am treating this as a date. I wish you wouldn't. Why? Okay. Because I'm no romantic. Believe me, I know. Right. Hmm, where's the next activity? Uh, uh, rendezvous, check out friend and Naomi's date activities. So just basically doing everything I've already done in this place. Oh, yo, Red 13 for this. Time trial challenge. All right. Wish me luck, okay? did, we get the, did we get the beach content? Yeah, we already did that. We can get back into the outfits, though, for you if you missed it. People are technically animals, too. Right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. But though I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Brett's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R, give me an E, give me a D! Don't say it, chat. Don't you dare. I'm simply shooting these into the corresponding goal. Oh, maybe I should pay attention to the instructions. Whoops. Whoops. Well, that's a, that's a fail. That's not the right goal. Okay. I got no colored balls right now. We should pay attention to the instructions. That'd be a first, I know, right? It's more fun to just wing it. There we go. 
I need yellows. Oh, come on, that's cheap. Oh, really? <laughs> Right after I moved it away. Where's the blue? Well, we've definitely failed the target time. Alright, let me just restart. I'm just now noticing that these balls, they're, they're, some of these balls are just like filler and don't do anything. Okay, you gotta do it in the order it tells you to as well. Alright. No, 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 no! No! You're gonna cry? Look, this is the joy of watching a live stream. Come on, I never played Rocket League, by the way. <laughs> uh. Alright, we're gonna restart again real quick. Come on, you stupid dog. Get in. Don't you go in there. There you go. Pretty good at video games. Well, this is not a video game. This is a, uh, a different type of, of challenge, all right? Shush. I didn't say I'm good at all video games, all right? Stupid ball, stupid ball, stupid ball. <sighs> How dare you? <laughs> Get, no! How did you like slip through the one? Oh. It's blue? Oh yeah, it's some shit. I'm look, maybe I'm colorblind, alright? Are you really gonna make fun of a disabled man? to get this one in there.
No, 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 don't you dare sneak up. What the oh, you, you fucker. Oh, you gonna launch this one? Oh no. How? Just how? So sad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ban all of you. That had to do that. Okay, there's a lob. Really? Just, just how? Get in there. Whatever, I don't care what the prize is. You don't even get a prize from it. But that this is supposed to be like a sim a simulation date where there's like having our dog do it. No. Yep, it's your fault. You had an off day, that's all. Yeah, it happens. I don't need your pity. What I need is to train. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only serves to strengthen their bond. That's it! I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper! I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday! Yours is at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo. I think you could make the time if a lot of it wasn't lost on the blue ball, yeah. <laughs> but it's whatever. It doesn't actually matter. Wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna come up with. Extra! Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you wanna see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer function over form. So durable. May be made with non absorbent materials that allow for full range of motion in case you need to fight underwater. <laughs> Okie dokie then. The, the, Eric, you're just gonna have to you know, accept that Cloud is fight brained. That's all he can, that's all he know. This is very one very long side quest, by the way. <laughs> One you can find. Sound good? I'll be chilling back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. Only the Ninja Turtles are allowed to make puns like that. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the Chocobos. Oh, you meant the shells, right? Right. So where are we going? Head to the clamshell beach. Wait a second. Are you nervous? Well, what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous. Who said they chocobo chat? Love it when a man say Lamau. <laughs> Do 
We might as well grab the towers while we're on the way. Love how the party is watching this. Yeah, they're all being quiet too. Specializing specializes in both close at range combat and her throwing star and ninja skills. Press square to strike a foe with her throwing star. Hold it down to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. She's trying to launch her throwing star at an enemy while it is launched. Press square to activate Yubi's ninjutsu. Change the elemental affinity of this range attack for the elemental ninjutsu ability. Throwing star will remain return automatically after a certain amount of time, but can be retrieved earlier by pressing triangle again or holding square. being eaten. gets all the stuff from Integrate that she already had. P blind slide launch attack. Oh, you want to beg for mercy? Stop now! Or just about everything she has. Yeah, Yuvi's combat style was like really good in Intergrade, by the way. Looks fast. I think they improved her animations a bit. Not that they were bad, but they like decided to like work on them a bit more. I just realized that theme song you just heard of da, da, that sounded exactly like the DuckTale theme song. Only like slowed down. Da, 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 DuckTales. Ooh. That's where they, oh, no, um, uh, that, the, the musician originally came up with that theme. See, listen. DuckTales. Oh, oh, oh. Tales of daring, da 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 da. Bird. Or bird. Oh, it's probably gone over there. Uh. Sure, we'll grab it while we're here. Less time I have to grab it somewhere, you know, tomorrow before the stream. I'm assuming this chocobo doesn't have any special skills like the other ones do. Off, have a good night.
turn one game to three and still have DLCs, well, from, well, honestly, the DLC was pretty good in a way. I'm wondering what they'll do for the DLC for this game, because you know they're going to. My current suspicion is the next DLC will be on Vincent. Once again, fighting those, like, weirdo characters from his old bad game, just like Yuvi did. That's my suspicion, anyways. Why is Red 13 the leader of this party? And I, I wonder, and I wonder if the third game after that comes out, if it'll have DLC that's like an after, like I don't know, I wonder what that would actually be like. I think I think they'll definitely want one DLC for each game. Uh, Spells. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Still need to get down here. We have another tower to activate on the way. Fun but jank, you mean that, uh, what's this called? Dirge of Cerberus? Take over. Taking over. I never played it because it always did look a bit shit. Uh, explain their element of weak. Okay, you guys suck. Can't attack you. Are you after Alexander in this area? I wonder why they added him so early compared to the original. Well, if you recall Remake, they had Bahamut and a bunch of things you didn't get back in Midgar. Like, all the summons you didn't- I don't think you got a summon in FF7 until after you left Midgar, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not like they haven't already started that process. This is because you can't really have a Final Fantasy game without the summons, I guess, so they had to add it in early. Eh, it's just whatever. I see the yellow paint. That was the reason I was sucking at that ball game chat. I didn't have yellow paint to guide me. I used other colors.
Pretty sure you got Rama in FF7 original in Midgar. The first summon you got in FF7 was the Chocobo summon, I think. And I think you got that after you left Midgar. I think you got it at the Chocobo ranch, maybe. Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic. I actually forgot ship. to get Rama in the Intergrade DLC, so I don't have it in this game now, like I have the other summons. Are you doing Costa del Sol side quests? That's what I'm currently working on, actually. I honestly wasn't expecting Costa del Sol to have its own entire region, since it was so unimportant in the original game. I thought it would just be like one area, and then you'd like move on to like the next actual real area. Did you already help Johnny with his in? Uh. <clears throat> well, he's no longer, like, indebted to the mayor, so he hasn't given me another quest for that at this point. Let's see. Gold dust. Well, you could help him renovate his enemy. Maybe we can. We'll see. I kind of would rather not, honestly. That's usually extremely tedious. I'm already helping someone do that in a different URPG. here somewhere. How am I missing a chest when they glow? They literally glow. Uh, Dardigan, it's right, you get Chocobo Mog when you talk to the Chocobos at the ranch, and they, I'm surprised I actually remembered that, since that has been, like, I haven't played that game since I was in middle school. I only ever played it the one time, and it just stuck in my memory that well. So, the fact that I could remember where you get the Chocobo summon at is like, wow, my memory is a little bit better than I thought it was. On certain things. Yeah, I don't see this last chest. Oh well. We got seashells to hunt. We should be able to find some good shells around here. But first, we clean up the trash. The crabs, you mean? <laughs> I feel like I need more magical people here because everything has like a defensive barrier I gotta get through.
Oh, frog. No, that's actually fitting to get turned into a frog. We're all getting turned into frogs. Really? Well, I'm kind of boned up. Uh, I don't have anything that cures frog. He's got to deal with it. Does that slip into a defensive stance after taking a certain amount of damage, rendering frontal effects? Okay, attacking them by fire damage will break their stance. Okay. The tracks to remind you of it. I think this was actually made by the guy who like uh, made the music for 13. for seashells while enjoying the date with Aerith on Choco back. If yeah, I know how that works. How many of you have done the searching for seashells date chat? I can actually say I have done this on a date. Oh, fuck. Well, we didn't find this. Red 13's dead, shit. big fan of most Final Fantasies. For many years, I've played through several multiple times. Uh, I, I've liked most of the ones since 7. I haven't really been able to get into the older ones other than 6. And even that one I never actually finished. I just got very close. And for some reason, I just stumped. I don't remember why. No, I don't they either suck. They don't give you nearly enough MP. This is not the shell you were looking for.
Come on. Joker, but work with me here. Are you going to play Resident Evil 5 solo or with someone? What do you mean? When the remake comes out eventually? I'm hoping it's not even an option. I'm hoping it just they get rid of the cooperative stuff. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen a shell this big before. Hmm, if these things are all this size, I bet the suckers who live in them would make for good eating. I wonder how they taste. <laughs> we could ask a local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. I don't. Food's food. Uh oh. Don't you know what happens to people who say they don't care what their food tastes like? It's so teeny tiny. You know, a lot of troopers take half a show with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one, some people say. Oh, that took a turn. Time broke, Rob Boyle. Oh, God damn it. That's another note. Stop being so crap. <laughs> Remix, sorry I should have had that first. Well, I kind of figured that's what you meant since I have no reason to play Resident Evil 5 OG again. Final Fantasy 13 was terrible. But yeah, I, I need to eventually one day decide I will never mention Final Fantasy 13 again. <laughs> it's like, you know what? People know my stance on that game. Shell. Missing shell. This lady sent us out to collect shells in a place where we could have died, by the way. You have the worst game of all all final. You, you're worse than than Squall, I gotta say, and that's saying something, man. I didn't think that was even possible. Well, this is a fake date, is what it is. They're just like doing this to help these people come up with new clothes. So they're pretending to go on a date to help them, like, see what an actual date is really like. You did Final Fantasy 1, 4, 6, 7. Ooh, that's a lot. What's all of them? Tactics? Hey, yeah, tactics I do like a lot. I'd like to see Tactics get a, uh, one of those 2.5 remakes like Live Alive did. And a proper translation. Well, they actually think they already did a proper translation of it. Never in doubt. 
It's what the act of courting looks like. What, fighting animals in the in a tr tropical paradise and pretending to go on dates? In some cultures, yes. Asexual cloud look. He, he's, like I said, he's fight sexual. He's one of those anime tropes. The only Final Fantasy you played was on the GameCube? Wait, did you play that? Are you talking about that Crystal Chronicles game? Well, I kind of forgot about that. I, I, I've never played that, but I knew briefly about it and how weird it was. Wait, where's the, where's the button? It was a big deal because that was the first Final Fantasy game in a while that had not appeared on a Sony console. What was the point of that Crystal Chrono? You're like had like a caravan, right? And you had like had like a magic channel or something. But the playing multiplayer and OG console was stupidly convoluted while the GameCube was not exactly committed to online play. Only played it because you had a GameCube. I actually will soon have a Dreamcast chat, and I'm thinking of modding it. Surprised there wasn't like a chocobo thing where you like a bench all the way out here. Maybe there would be on this side of the road. From what I understand of it, modding uh, Dreamcast is fairly simple. So once I have it, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's just like no chocobo thing. Uh, you can mod a Dreamcast. I never knew that. I know you can mod X, but yeah, it's uh, there's a, a couple mods that are pretty popular. One is uh, <clears throat> the most popular one is you replace the disk drive uh, with a simulated disk drive. That way, you can store all your games on uh, memory card, so you can have like hundreds of games built into your Dreamcast instead of like putting discs. Because getting Dreamcast games is apparently pretty expensive. That's the most popular one. Another one that people do is they replace the fan and the power supply inside of it, so they cut down on the noise and the heat. So you can make it run whisper quiet and have every single Dreamcast game on it, essentially. Alright, we don't need to, like, okay, we can just, like, she's right there. Okay, we're almost done with this side quest. Tactics would be awesome, but yeah, it's a Japanese thing. The male lead has to be clueless. Uh, that's that was the case for a while, but they've kind of like shied away from that since it's kind of old-fashioned now. I think you see, you actually do see competent male leads more often these days. Good thing I didn't get you a lot of games for it. Through. It's a lot simpler, just like download them. Clever at hiding the final chest in these places now. <coughs> what 
whatever. Welcome back, you two. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How you love the this OST? Yeah, Romantic? it's great. I'd like to get the vinyl for this one, too. Clamshell. Two halves of a whole, like all good couples. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or I intentionally gave her the smallest <gasps> shell. I've got it! Inspiration has finally struck. I know what to make. But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center. I want See them to make there? the worst outfit. <laughs> So we failed at the the dog race, the dog competition. I gave her the smallest shell. I say we ride double. And slow the down the bird. Way to make tracks is on would make it that much easier to take in all the steering. Right I'm still steering. <laughs> oh, fine. If you've got to be the man up front. They are arguing like a couple now. Thankfully, it doesn't look like there's that many side quests in Cosa del Sol. They just had one long one. The localizers knew one line for that, didn't they? Game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Want to land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Those are the guys that would have given Cloud a bath in the original Honeybee Inn, I think. Not many mini games in Costa del Sol. They really just had like a few, but they did over and over again. I'm so glad you came. So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it. But the two of us didn't do anything inspo worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> do my eyes deceive me? Is that cloud? No. Oh, hey, you trade the city for the beach too? What are you doing here? Oh, no, it's the Sephiroth of the gym. <laughs> to challenge me to pull ups again this year's new singlets from these talented young women <laughs> oh right that reminds me stop by the training facility when you have a moment we're in need of your particular skills several okay. of the gym you're fucking i literally did that joke it back in remake updated versions of pirate rampage and run are now available to play at any time when new prizes and aim for even higher scores in these revamped games Even now he must squat. Why he squat? Why he bads form squat? <laughs> I'll see you at the training facility. I don't even know where the training facility is, my dude. I'm nearly dead. Please make yourself at home. Uh, 
Okay, you know, where do you say his gym is at? Maybe it's not here. So the snap scar. Or it's rampage. See what's on the notice board. Probably watch the VOD to see it. What is it? Tour Coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Oh yeah, I meant I meant to change into my like special like you know outfit, didn't I? It'll look good when you're at the beach. You missed the Hojo scene? Oh, I see. I get you. There is no house to buy here? No, I'm afraid not. Wait, was that something? That wasn't something you could do in the original, was there? You know what? I like her Moogle suit. Barrett alone. I think if you leave town, they automatically change out of these, right? Actually, I should buy those other two remaining outfits. Cost like 100,000 again. What did you do? Well, like the only house in this place that got bought was by Johnny, so if that's going to happen, it must happen later. I forget what, what did you do with the house of you if you bought it? I think you just got an item, didn't you? Hang loose. Oh, you can't actually? Okay, you can buy them right now. Oh, well, now they cost money though. Oh shit, I should have bought them then when I had the ticket. I didn't realize that's how it'd be. Oh well. Maybe you got an day. item in there and you could rest there whenever you wanted. Saga, the Seaside Inn. Johnny's Seaside Inn is currently undergoing a complete renovation to better cater to you. Beloved customers, and uh, we could use a little help. Help that isn't me, and by me I mean we. And by we I mean, uh, it'll be easier to explain when you meet the gang. And by you I mean the one true bro, Cloud. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, Jules, it's time to muscle maximize, or at least it was, until a bunch of fiends showed up and started scaring our members. Even the most passionate builder would struggle to get a rhythm with those things hanging around. So we need an able-bodied merc to come save the day and our gains. Save the gains. This one's a personal favorite of mine. So, obviously he's there, but where are the other two guys at? Okay, the gym is out there. Toward Mount Cool. I don't know what that is. Hmm. All right, we'll get started on Johnny's. We don't have time for it, but we'll see what the opening of it looks like. Isn't it a Genova Emergence theme? It's so good. Yeah, I, I still like the Genova theme from your know, remake really well. That was like a nice addition here, though. It just the, the one from Remake springs the Genova theme on you really well. I've never seen actually a piece of music that just like pulls the wool over your eyes, thinking it that makes you think it sounds like it's the original, and then you think, oh, they've changed it up. And then midway through, boom, ah, motherfucker, it's the remake. <laughs> it was like, every, there's actually reaction videos to that moment that people put together on YouTube of everyone playing the game. Let's just see how people reacted to that moment when the music changed. Oh, 
We just come here to look at Johnny's pile of shit. Don't think I want to share a bed with rats. The reactor fonts. I just know there's been plenty. There's plenty of channels to make react uh, montages of multiple people. Yeah, this probably replaced buying the the house that you talked about. Either said Johnny was the one who did it. Because I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is, you short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? What? Huh? Oh. Oh, hey, bro. Yuffie's clones? <laughs> I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse them. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot! Oh, How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? You, you a ninja? You meant the coral reactor? That's what I was thinking that'd be then, but... I, mm, yeah, the coral reactor did explode, so it makes sense. This wouldn't have anything to do with me. Using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. Oh, <laughs> they can do that? I mean, <coughs> I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. So do you have to pay yourself in that situation? I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro. I sent bro. them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. This quest is the worst. I know the previous one wasn't that great. You probably want to start by having a look around the coast of Falls. <sighs> I suppose I should have known I couldn't be trusted. Do you have a favorite piece of music in this game? <clears throat> So far, the remake uh, had probably my more... I like this game's soundtrack, but I think I like the battle themes you got in remake just so well. This game hasn't quite what matched it in that re regards yet, how long but I'm sure it will. A outside the Genova thing we got earlier. Time is th Hang loose. Looks like another fine day in paradise. Shall we commemorate it with a photo? Did this in catch your eye as well? <laughs> Figured it might. While it's a far cry from the five-star hotels on Main Street, it has a certain appeal. I suspect this area has a plethora of photogenic spots. Nothing. Can't wait to hear Cosmo. Yeah, I've been looking forward to that one. Cosmo Canyon is probably like my favorite area in the original game. Other than Midgar. Mainly because I spent a lot of time there grinding, so I got used to it. Weapons are hard to come by in this game, aren't they? You take care of yourself out there. Uh, 
All right, so. Done just about everything inside the village, I mean the town. All the rest of the stuff happens outside of it in the area around it. <coughs> Boom. I'm a thinking chat. Uh, that's gonna be where we're going to stream tonight. I'll do a lot of these like kind of like regional activities off stream again. That way we can focus on just doing the side, the two remaining side quests tomorrow, and then we'll head to Corel as well to continue the plot. Uh, so yeah, be back tomorrow if you can, because <coughs> that's gonna be it for me tonight. Oh. Actually, sure I should say real quick before I forget. But, Chad, you've all been amazing. Thank you for joining me. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed all the shenanigans tonight. And I hope the beach episode was worth it. I know a lot of you are waiting for that, yo, that, that, uh, that discussion. Yes, we can call it that. Uh, but also, thank you for any gift subs, bits, super chats, uh, any of that. Follow me if you like the stream or subscribe. Much appreciate it. Uh, thank you to the mod team, and you know, thank you all for sharing your time with me. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I got at least one more stream in me before I take a day off to like recuperate and recharge my social battery. So be back tomorrow if you can. I will uh, see what happens. Maybe we'll reach the gold saucer tomorrow. Who knows? That'd be a nice way of capping it the whole week off. Uh, but I'm sleepy. I got caught there. I'll see you all later, chat. Peace out. I really need to put my other screen up that doesn't say starting soon on it. <laughs>